funny. <laughs> you just smile and wait. <laughs> yeah. I bet you I could say hi now. I bet, yeah. I haven't gotten an ad yet, but I bet. Let's see. Our, our, my, there we go. Okay, I have an ad. Yay! Hey, friends. Welcome to my studio. I wonder if that's dumb that I wave. I feel like I can see you guys. Let me know if it seems kind of dorky. I'd appreciate the feedback. <laughs> Happy Wednesdays, friends days. Uh, probably Wednesday singular. Friends days, plural, because all my friends are showing up. I think we saw seven people waiting. Of course, a couple of them would be us, like my iPad behind me. Today, we're going to paint a church. So it's based off of this one that people have seen in my past videos in the background. And I don't know, I've had six people request that I do a video and paint it. But I want to do something a little different, so I have different art to send to my agent. So I'm going to hang that back up. Hopefully that won't fall because those yeah, pins those, are coming out. Yeah, those are really coming out. <laughs> oh, and you can hear Emily. She helps me with everything behind the scenes. Hello. It's so nice to have her here with me. Here's the traceable. It's up on my website, annietro.com. <laughs> that was dorky. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna grab the phone. We've been doing this the last couple of lives. Freckles just walked in, so hopefully we won't trip over her. Freckles is my cat. And I'm gonna put you in my uh, video arm behind me. All right, here we go, guys. Meow. Okay, so I'm gonna step over the cords mm -hmm. right away. Yeah, so then I can help. And then you. I'm gonna go, we're gonna fly over the arm. Isn't this exciting? Ooh, that was probably kinda of loud. I might have gotten it set up pretty good this time. <laughs> Woo! Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. It. Here, You're you good. can't see where the canvas is. Oh, the delay is yeah. fun. Yeah. We're both waiting for the delay. <laughs> yes. Oh, You're yay. a little high. You're a little, or I guess a little low, but it's fine. I'm a little low. I could scoot it I up. I think it's fine. Because um, you kind of tend to pull it towards you anyway. True, true, true. Hey, it's a little un, not square. Here, I wonder if that's because if that would help. Okay, I'm not going to mess with it too much. <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody. How are you doing? Thanks Oops. for coming. I just bumped right into that arm. Oh, Emily's Mango, here. Or not Mango, that's my cat. Uh, Freckles stole the chair from me, so I have to swap it out. Oh, did she? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm guilty of running over the here, I've got cords that I'm all tangled up in. I am guilty of running over the microphone cords with my, the chair. Maybe I can, is that gonna work? Okay, that's better. Thanks for your patience while we set up. So, I've got a traceable already going. I have scribbled on the back of it. I just tape it to a piece of paper, so if I use it again, it you know doesn't rub on other things. I scribbled on the back of it with some, gosh, that's like a royal blue mm -hmm. chalk pastel. And we're just going to do, I thought you might want to see this. I thought of this just like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, I kind of like that we don't have a script other than, some. you know, lately I've been knowing what we're going to do. One of these days the live's just going to be what's on my easel because I need to get things done. I think, I think it's still fun to have you guys hanging out and then you can ask questions about what I'm working on. So what I'm, all I'm going to do is just a couple of things. I kind of want to know where, I don't know if this is mountains or a tree line. Oops, and I don't know that I traced it that well, but we'll figure it out. I can see below that I missed it. So we're going to get that line for the sky, and then I'm going to take my, this is my favorite, one of my favorite artist tools, this little T-square. So, whoop, you can totally tell. Can you see that this line goes uphill? But I don't know, I was just going to say these canvases aren't always square. I don't know if it's the canvas. Um, well, I think the canvas is crooked in frame. But well, that wouldn't matter with the teaspoon. But yeah, you can tell um, where's like a good spot to point it out. I'm going to just go in the middle here. I and guess you can tell from where you have the um, where you kind of start hitting hitting the trapezoid area on the yeah. where you have the little cute tops of I assume like a brick section or something uh -huh. on the church itself. You could tell that one side was higher than the other. 
Oh, but it is. It isn't on my traceable because I have. I have no, but with the T square. That's oh, tell. I have it on graph paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just we will figure that out. I bet it's the canvas. Yeah, it's an eight by eight inch canvas panel from Michaels. Hey, Michaels. Yeah, I know. Sponsor Every time you us. say Michaels, I'm like, <laughs> oh, if we that should be like um. We, we eventually will have to make like a bingo or something. And if you state that you receipt, you bought something from Michaels, that should be oh, on a bingo square. Kinda, okay, well this might be not be appropriate, but kind of like a drinking game. You know, every time I say mm -hmm. bingo, you take a drink. Yeah, but I've seen um, <laughs> I've seen people that tend to have, or like when you watch a show or something, like if you watch The Bachelor or something like that, um, you you x out something every time, like a girl cries or you know oh, something like yeah. that. So then it makes it a little more fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. It's like it's almost like right at eight millimeters right there. Let's see where it is over here. I'm gonna go with eight millimeters. So I just kind of wanted to know where that is. You don't have to get it exact. Um, I clearly did not get it exact. But I think that's one of the things about the videos and the lives. As you see how I solve problems. So I'm just taking a kneaded, eras er a kneaded eraser <laughs> um, just to lighten things up. Oh, here, let's grab my pencil back a little bit. So the only thing I'm really going for is higher over here for the sky, lower over here and a dip about there, and our church comes in the middle. Okay, and I'm going to grab this. Again, let's see if this is, see there's a little, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it dips up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could tell more with the traceable on top. Well, and I don't know that I had the traceable on square. I just kind of stuck it on there. Okay, I love T-squares though. I mean, they get you really close. So since we're kind of set up a little bit, yes. I assume you still have more to say, but it's, We've kind of gotten a little bit past the intro. Um, Carol, um, Jay, she was the first one in the chat, Aww. and she said, hey, um, Hi, Annie and Emily. Thank you for this one. I've, she's been hoping that we would do it for so long. I, she might have been one of the people that asked me. <laughs> um, Carol, so, sorry you had to wait probably a year plus, because <laughs> I was only going to do it during the holidays. This is artist tape. You can use masking tape. I like it because it's a little lower tack, a little less sticky. Um, I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> um, nothing like waiting over a year for something. It better oh. turn out really well. That's a lot of anticipation. Yeah. yeah you, but I, I like, the, we haven't gotten to the point yet, but there's some point that I'm like, Oops. I'm excited for what, what we do like halfway through. It feels very prepared live show, in my opinion. Oh. But Chase came early and he dropped his 4 dollars with his little goat emoji. Chase, man, thank you. I put the tape on the wrong side of the line. Thank you, thank you, Chase. I I like being spoiled. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so I was just gonna burnish this edge with the handle of my one of my palette knives. And then here's a little tip that I don't know. I I kind of fold down the tape because it's easier than to grab it and pull it off. So when I stick it around the panel, I've got little places where I can grab it easier. That is probably way too fussy but just just saying okay colors oh I think I want to lighten this up a little more I just like it lightened um it would melt into the paint sometimes it does show depending on your color like if I used yellow over it or something so I just lighten it up out of habit okay my handy dandy little palette in a gallon ziploc baggie oh we should get ziploc <laughs> ziploc <laughs> This video brought to you by Ziploc. Do you think they're easier than Michael's Ziploc? I don't maybe? know. That, it would be a different crowd for him, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your paints wet in Ziploc. I'm not in a squirrely mood today. So I have phthalo blue green shade, one of my favorite colors. That's this dark blue over here. And I put out some neutral gray five. I really like it. And I really like it with the phthalo blue when I discovered it. Because it makes this yummy... You can make it bluer, greener, grayer, but it makes this, I think it's sort of a little bit of a retro feel on that blue. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Emily? Is that kind of a retro feel on that color? 1950s? 
Oh yeah, uh, the that blue. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, when did everything mute down again? Like the eighties. Oh yeah, I don't know. The I, think, I mean, I was around, but. I don't know. <laughs> I think if I well, at least in like home decor, everything muted down in the eighties. And then I have titanium white. Yeah, I don't know. And then this is oh gosh, oh gosh, I can't read it. Three quarter inch, nineteen millimeter Royal Lane Nickel flat brush. Okay, so I think the table's set. I'm gonna paint the uh, ground. It's nice to have this one. So I'm just gonna aim for lighter at the horizon line. And my horizon line is just straight. I didn't do anything fancy. And then I'm gonna aim for a little darker as we go down. <clears throat> Excuse me, okay, I'm done setting the table in. Okay, well we have quite a few people in the chat today. Yay, thank you for coming. Yeah, so we have Carol J as a, and she was the one that wanted the, and she did say it was about a year that she'd been waiting <laughs> for it. Well, I'm glad I got her right. <laughs> Um, but we have Suzanne and Bonita. We have Eric is in the chat. Oh, Helen okay. um, D. We have, and I believe, yep, Dan's here as well. Hey. <laughs> That's so cool. Dan did a premiere on Sunday, which was really fun. I think he painted somebody from a movie, but I don't, I don't, I haven't seen the movie, so. Hmm. I'll have to creep. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, already, no, I already said this, but it's what's on my mind. Thank you so much for coming. This is fun. I mean, I didn't think this was going to be fun because, <laughs> you know, I'm on, like the whole world could be watching me. I don't want to, let's not go there. Um, <clears throat> but it really is fun to hang out with you guys. It's been fun to get to know you. Oh, it's Natalie Portman. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> yes. Jeez. <laughs> Well, I just didn't, I didn't know the movie. Um, Is it Matilda? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen that. Let's see here. Oh, I painted this white. Um, sometimes the canvas panels come a little thin. I usually just paint right on them. But I painted this white yesterday because it looked a little thin when I took it out of the package. I don't know if you've seen. It's the... Um... It's Leon the Professional, which I've only seen because no. it's on the um, the movie poster that Chase got me for Christmas last year Aww. that we were kind of working through or whatever. And it's um, it's like one of like the movie poster was the like Oscar winning top or best movies of all time or something like oh, that geez. or best pictures. <laughs> I have no clue. Yeah. So <laughs> it, her name is Matilda, but she plays like a. It's not Matilda, like our like the Matilda you're thinking of. Yeah, with Danny DeVito and yeah, no. Perlman. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's and not Natalie Portman. I can't think of the little girl, the little yeah. actress's name. Um, I love that movie. Here. Um, Helen asked, is that brush from the Zen line? Yes, it is. It is. It yeah, is. I think those ones are pretty. I think those are one of my, at least if for looks. I like that they're kind of gunmetal chromey. Well, I do too, except for it's hard for me to read the white type on them. Oh, probably. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not old. <laughs> You, your eyes aren't. Well, actually, I can see. It's just reading. Mm -hmm. But I got I got the progressives because it's just easier than looking hunting for glasses. You know, mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of hair, so they would fall off my head if I had reading glasses on the top of my head. Could have done the chain thing. <laughs> yeah, or the <laughs> the ones that split in the middle. <gasps> like the the um, um, Sherry. You know who I mean when I say Sherry has yep. a pair of those. Those are kind of fun. Um, one of my art teachers in high school had them, and she would just rest them like. Cause she would always have the double glasses going on. So she would just rest them on her neck and then like click them up and they have a magnet in between the, at the yeah, nose piece. I don't know if Sherry likes them, but she had them the other day. I'd say hi. So she, oh, she's got it. If she, I don't think she watches these videos, but if she did, Hey, Sherry. <laughs> she's busy. I don't, is that on camera? I hope it is. Yep. Just scoot it down a little bit. I'm holding it up so I can paint the sides, but then it wiggles. So hopefully it's not too. The other thing you can do here, I could do this. Is I just put put out a palette knife and it kind of lifts it up a smidge. I'll do that. But I just think that's a yummy color. And mm -hmm. if you do not like this color, I mean, use any blue you have. So I tend to mute down my backgrounds um, as a rule of thumb. Not as an art rule of thumb, as an Annie rule of thumb, because then it makes my subject 
come forward more. So like I have out of the tube yellow, I'm thinking that's probably out of the tube orange, and the little cardinal is definitely out of the tube. And so those little things pop. That's, that's the only reason I do that. You do not have to. <laughs> Soapbox popped into my head, Emily. <laughs> I guess it's better too much. They can always turn the volume down and just mm -hmm. watch. If if the talking is annoying, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. If I, they just want to watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what's so nice about YouTube. Fast forward, slow it down. So all I'm thinking now is making one corner a little darker, and I don't know if I'm going to end up changing it because of where my path goes. Okay, Emma, it's almost, just not quite yet, but almost time to go hair dry. Oh, okay. And I was actually a little smarter here because this is more simple and it should. Because I'm going to put tape over it for the other side, for the other half of the canvas. So I'm thinking... Oh. Um, oh, no, no, this is like the empty one. Oh, did you put this hooker's green here so you'd remember to order more? Yeah. Okay, I was like, oh, did I find it? <laughs> yeah, I used no. hooker's green in this one. That's what the top of this is. Um, but I don't have any more. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I ordered it. I have this deep hue, which when we get to it, it may work or we'll mix a green. I need to... Okay, I'm going to pick this up because I... As, oh, go ahead, honey. I'm sorry. No, I'm kind of talking to myself. I almost... We... If um, me hair drying becomes a, a normal thing, we almost need to like tape a piece of, I don't know, cardboard or something to the underside of your desk so I have somewhere to clip the mic. So it doesn't like, because I always try to find somewhere that it doesn't brush against anything and like make oh. noises. There's a wooden clip on the cup. It might be down by the candles. It's probably down under the pieces of paper by the oh, candles. Oh, over here. Yeah, they're bag clips. Oh. Would that work, or is it too small? That might work. Then to clip it to what? I don't know. So now I feel like telling you, you have 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and your time starts now. All I'm trying to do is make sure the canvas is kind of covered here. I'm just being a little fussy. Well, that's okay. This gives it more time to dry. But I am all here. We'll touch up the edges while we wait for Miss M. Huh. Oh, now I'm not ready for you. Okay. But that's probably really close. I don't know if that's really scary on the live. I like to paint the sides. Some are just paint them black. I think I, how many times have I probably said that in my videos? All right. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to pull out my notes here quick. And I'm going to grab, I'm giving away this bear ornament. Oh, she shut the door so we don't hear the hair dryer. That was nice. Okay, so I'm this Friday, November 19th, 2021. I should say that because these videos could last forever. I'm giving away this polar bear ornament. Isn't that cute? It's one of my new ones this year. It's signed on the back. Little wire on it. I don't know if you can see the beads. I gloss varnished it, gloss varnished it so it would catch some of the Christmas lights if you put it on a tree. I think you can see some glare there. So it runs through Sunday, November 21st, 2021. And then I have random.org draw the winner Monday morning. And it's only for U.S. residents, so I stay on the right side of the law, which is really important. And I can't afford shipping out of the U.S. anyway. Um, good luck if you want to enter. That happens only over on Facebook just so that I can see you in the comments and I can count you. That's the only reason I don't like keep your information. If you win, I don't keep your address. You know, none of that stuff. It's just for fun. It's a way to thank you guys for supporting my art. It means so much to me. Um, oh, Emily's still drawing, so I'm gonna... I was thinking the other day that maybe I would paint one of my watercolor classes um, in acrylic. But like you guys might like this um, chickadee so I have a booklet, a PDF booklet you can download, and you don't have to paint them as watercolor. It has photo steps. Uh, there's some videos. There's a watercolor tips and tricks videos. I just wanted to mention it because that might be kind of fun. Um, I thought she was done. She stopped hair drying. I think I can get off my wall here. 
Here's the original watercolor. Isn't that fun? And you could paint it in acrylic, although you can't do the salt technique. <laughs> That's one thing about watercolor is my students always have fun splattering. You can splatter, but they also have fun seeing what the salt does. And sometimes it works better than others. You can't really control it. It's just how it goes. I wonder if I got too much paint on there. She's still hair drying. Okay. So thank you for letting me do the commercials. I got two commercials in. Ooh. Yeah, the <laughs> edge that I think you just painted before you, oh. you gave to me wouldn't dry. Right. I made that harder for you. Oh, here. As long as I'm... Before, just before I take the tape off here. There's little butterfly traceables in that booklet, too, that you could do a lot of fun things with. Okay. I just thought of it. It's, it's out there. If you want it, you can download it. All right. So one thing I do... Oh, there's a hair. <laughs> no hairs. <laughs> Although, um, I was listening to some guy, and he said that they zoom in with magnifying glasses, or they scan in the, an old painting or something, and then they zoom in to see if there's little fibers and things in it, because then they know it's an original. Is that interesting? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I pull this way, just in case, because this is probably a little wet. You don't want to pull your paint up. Once you do it once, you really don't ever forget. Because <laughs> you're like, oh, crud. Well, I might need a new piece of tape here. If Which bear did you show? Hmm? Which bear did you show? Oh, this... Um, this guy right behind me here. Oh. Um, did you see that Bonita said that that bear is adorable? No, I was yakking and doing commercials. <laughs> and Yeah, it turned out cute. It would also turn out cute as me snooping on your desk is the family Christmas card. That turned out so cute. Oh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. We could show them. The if polar bear. To... It's cute. It's, it's a recent video and mm -hmm. I turned it into It was a... one of the lives, right? Yeah. And yeah, then... I've got it sitting over here, but I don't want to grab it right now. Um, Suzanne asked, Annie, do you prefer painting on canvas board or painting on canvas? Oh. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about, well, the canvas can be kind of nice, like a gallery wrap canvas because you get a little bounce. Um, these are really inexpensive. So kind of I don't know if these are archival quality. I mean, I think they use the same gesso as they do on the... Um, the canvases from Michaels, mm -hmm. they're level three professional canvases. But I, I don't know what's in there, like what makes it. Yeah. So if, you, if you're worried about archival quality, which, so when I sell these in a frame, I sell them for much less than I do a large can't wrap, gallery wrap canvas at the gallery because of what, I don't know what's in there. I don't know if it's archival quality. So I don't know that I have a preference. I like the price of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. These would be a buck, a dollar something U.S. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to paint the sky. It doesn't really matter. Eh. Let's paint the... Let's paint whatever's back here. We can call it mountains. We can call it... Right now I'm painting on another piece of uh, birch. It's not all the way, it's plywood, but the top of it's birch. Um, because I sold Trouble 2.0 with the uh, Black Eyed Susan in its mouth. That's also a recent video. It sold really fast, so I'm paying another one. And the panel's interesting. I'm learning about how to do that. Well, I just love that that, so that panel didn't even get a chance to be hung where all like the artists panels no, are. I know. I mean, that's, that's a good problem. <laughs> it's a good problem, but I feel like you, like you were kind of like, I got to get this done so I can get it up so it can be hanging. <laughs> well, I wanted it hanging up for December and now yeah. it's gone. <laughs> yeah, now it's gone. <laughs> like, uh, good problem though, but yeah. I'm just mixing some grays in here. So you could do, if you want like a lot of trees. So this is like the polar bear fur. Um, it can be cow fur if it's, you have a smaller brush. Or if you go like this, you know, then it's that bison fur. <laughs> hair, cow hair, bison fur. Hey, Dad, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I want this darker. My goal right now is just to get some paint on here. 
see a little water, it's not flowing. I just barely dip the corner in there in the water. I probably should sit down. Take a load off. Yeah. So if anything isn't quite the right value, like I didn't, I'm looking at this thinking, hmm, I wonder if I wanted that lighter. We can always change it too. Um, you know, to get a lot of the church painted on there, you can change it. That's what's so nice about our acrylics. You can go dark to light or light to dark. It's really forgiving. Am I talking too much? Did you have something to say? Nope. Okay. The one thing about the hair drying is it's a good commercial break time. Yeah. So yeah, you had a you had your break. Yeah. Was that like the official break, or do we still need a break at thirty? Uh, I don't have. I only have three items to talk about, and I've done two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it won't be an official ice cream break, or we've already had it. Yeah, I could have just said no official break, but it was, I think it was funnier. So I get fussy. I have no idea why I'm doing some of this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around. Okay. So oh, I didn't say this, but you know, horizontal for um, <laughs> for ground, vertical like for trees, mountains. Okay, I'm gonna go grayer and lighter. I'm gonna put a little bit more white just because I like to have a bigger blob to work with. I go through a lot of white, so I buy it in the jars. And then you can set them on the lid. I also have um, <laughs> heavy body in case I want thicker paint. A little brain glitch there. <laughs> it says right on the bottom what it is. I just wiped my brush off on a paper towel because I had a lot of blue in it. So if you kind of wanted some trees, you could go like at an angle and then just kind of pull it down. Oops, I'm hitting the microphone cords. Hmm. Okay, guys. Did they are... come untaped? No, they're just loose. Oh, they're I did probably, yeah, sorry, I probably didn't pull them tight enough. It's okay. But this see if that'll help. It's wiggling now, but maybe it'll help with no wiggling in the future. Mm -hmm. So I think Canada already had their Thanksgiving. Ours is coming up next week. I know. I can't believe it's already US. Thanksgiving. I know. I haven't done anything really. Well, I made. <laughs> does anybody make any yummy cranberry dishes out there? I made some cranberry sorbet. Mm -hmm. Well, it's frozen. I need to let it thaw some and then whip it with the mixer to make it. Well, it looks like ice cream, but it's, it's red ice cream. It's red <laughs> ice. Yeah, that's that, what it will forever be called as red ice cream. Yeah, I was wondering if anybody had any yum, yummy cranberry dishes. Yeah, I always wonder because you know I always see the joke online that people um you just basically buy like the ceremonial whatever the can of ras or um, cranberry whatever that is oh, it's like cranberry gelatin what is yeah that? Cranberry, and you just like know. put it out Jelly. on a plate and then it nobody touches it but you still have to always have it well it's good it's pretty <laughs> color for the yeah, table it is pretty color for the table being an artist yeah i like what well, chase likes the cranberry sorbet mm -hmm. yeah we usually Steal all the leftovers of that one. That's all right. <laughs> Both at Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah, we do it twice. Yeah, so we get a lot. So I'm trying to, I'm just, I'm thinking dark, a little darker up here, and then I might come over with my sky and, and lighten it up. Um... So it kind of fades out, fades together. And then I just added some white there. I'm just kind of playing. 
Oh, I'm probably shaking because I'm brushing hard, so I can probably shake in my light table no. my, or my art table. You're, uh, it doesn't seem like you, I mean, I see maybe a little bit, but it's, it's nothing. not too bad. Like, I probably wouldn't have noticed it unless you didn't point, point it, it out. out. <laughs> so I should just be quiet. <laughs> Okay, so what I want to think a little bit here, where did my traceable go? I buried it. So the church kind of comes here and there, so we might want like little hints of trees, but we want to vary them. I was just kind of looking at my traceable. We can also fix that. Just try not to line them up. I want them, my brain or me, let's blame my brain and not me, it wants to line things up. And if you get too many skinny ones, you can come back and put in some wide ones. And I can see where it's kind of like skipped and I can see the background, so we might need a little more paint. I'm just going with grayer at the top because my sky is going to be a little bit more blue. So that's one thing about I don't like about when I painted this canvas panel white is then it's going to slide a little more, which you may like, but then it should take less paint. I mean, it's kind of like there's an upside and a downside to everything. I kind of like the grip of the, the gessoed canvas. Maybe we go this way. And now people are starting to see why it takes me long to paint. Because <laughs> I know that I just kind of keep going till I'm sort of happy. And I think it's funny because I'm going to change it probably down the road. That's too light. Oh, and I, I do go this way, but it can help to go this direction from the tape. There. Is that better? Carol. <laughs> I knew, well, she wasn't the only one that asked. I'm like, oh, you know. But she's maybe the longest waiting. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, how long? Well, I've been doing YouTube for a while, but we really didn't start a year and a half ago is when we really started yeah. focusing on it. I mean, I would just throw up a video once in a while. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say a year and a half ago is probably when I started helping you with the videos. Well, and you're the one. And you're right, like mom. Do this. Okay. I think that's, I mean, it's funny because what I'm gonna do here in a minute is pull out what I've already painted because it'll be dry. It, I needed this to get dry enough to do the traceable on it. I know some artists um, do YouTube lives and they put that traceable right on top of it, but I don't like it. I don't like that it sticks. I don't like that the paint underneath isn't very dry and that it's hard to get the traceable up. You can't, you know, use a kneaded eraser to lift it up. You can't wash it off with water. It kind of sticks into the paint. But if you wait a day, I mean, sometimes it works. It just depends on the weather in your studio. But if you wait a day, it works a lot better for me. I want to, I want to fix some of that, but the, I don't need to. The <laughs> church is probably going to go over it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're thinking sky. Actually, and let's move my little... Okay. You know, Emily, I had oatmeal not too long ago, so my stomach wouldn't growl. Mm -hmm. and I can feel it's going to do it. It's going to growl. Yes. <laughs> it just needs to be heard. I don't know. Eh, it's kind of thin. Maybe let's start with a corner. So let me know if you like seeing this from the beginning. I don't know that I can do it every time. Um, I wasn't going to have as many traceables live that we've already done, so I think that part's good. Um, 
I want to help you guys as much as I can and keep my art business going. I think we can do both. But the feedback really helps. Like, oh, I really like seeing you do it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Or no, I was bored to tears. <laughs> you know, I can see what you painted. Like here, here's step two when I get this painted. I oh. can see what you've painted and how you got there. You know, I don't, I don't need to see the beginning. You just outed our Rachel Ray process. I, know, I did earlier too. I covered Oh, you that. did? Yeah, was I, I gone? <laughs> you, no, you were sitting just like a couple minutes ago. I was saying, oh. I'm just going to. I don't need to be oh, this yeah, fussy because I'm going to whip out another one. You did. It just feels so Rachel Ray that you did that or like the, any of the show? cooking shows. Like, I don't know who else does that. I'm trying to think of all the morning or oh, afternoon. Gosh. Any was, cooking. I think there was one called The Chew or something like that and it had three or four oh, people. I don't know if it's still but, on. I don't know if it's still on either, but I, what I thought was cool was where we, um, when we went to New York and we went to um, the Chelsea Market, they filmed right upstairs. That is cool. Yeah, that one. That was that part was cool. So I'm kind of doing some lifting up to not get brush marks. You could use a filbert. Sometimes that might be. You might like that better. And that was cool when we did the food tour at Chelsea Market. That was it was chilly. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. Mm -hmm. It was good. And we went because of Surtex, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because you yeah. and Jack did things on your own. Yes, yeah. When you were, on the days you were at Surtex, Jack and I would go on the subway. I think, did we do the Met with you or without you? I think you did it without me. I think we did the Met without you. Yeah. Well, I've been there. But. Yeah, but I think we took the subway, went to the Met, went to... Oh, no, I was there for the Met. Oh, okay. I don't know, because we've, we've got a couple times. <laughs> yeah, I know. We went all the... I, we had gone to the Met before... I'm not sure, honey. Actually. I don't know. But we went all the way to the pier. Oh, I think that was just you and Jack. Yeah, that I know that was me and Jack, so we took the subway all the way to the pier. So but. Jack's my son. Favorite son. Helen and Suzanne both agree that they like seeing it from the beginning. From the beginning? From the beginning. <laughs> okay. I will. I mean, that's good to know. I will do my best. Because I really like hanging out with you guys. So does Bonita. She wants the beginning as well. Okay. Well, this one's going to be a two-parter, I think, because look at me fussing over the tree line now. <laughs> and I don't think that's bad. It's just not good for, you know, time crunch, kind of, if you're trying to video it for other people in a certain amount of time. I didn't want blue there. I want some more gray there. <laughs> so I keep kind of like... You're, well, it's not like petting a cat, but it's kind of like I just keep going over it till I like what I see in values. Actually, I kind of like this, and I kind of like, I'm offloading my brush a little bit on the paper towel. I kind of like it's too far over, but I like that there's a light spot over there. So let's work on that a little bit. And then artists, oh, I, wonder, I know what I want, I, mean, I have a picture in my head. So acrylics dry fast, and right now it's wintertime here in, o in Omaha. So this is drying fast on me. But you notice I'm just kind of working in sections and come back. You don't have to get it all blended right away. And then those brush strokes, I mean, I get it if you don't like it, but you might want to airbrush then or something if you want it super smooth. Um, but those brush strokes actually, and the layers help you. So what's bugging me is I can hear. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see a little bit of the texture of the canvas, which actually is white paint. So I don't know why it's bugging me. <laughs> Emily's chuckling. I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know how, how many chuckles the mic picks up. I don't either. Probably because your brain feels like that that it's unfinished or something. Probably. I'm gonna grab a little white on my corner of my brush and. Okay, we don't want to go white, white now. I, now what's running through my head is don't go too white because I want to, we got to splatter. <laughs> splatter snow on it. Got to be able to see it. I want to be able to see it. It's okay to have some white. I've got some white. So I think I might just do that even though I really like that white spot I had over there. Okay, so we call this good. Because I will paint something on here. I don't know if I'll paint another church. And the nice thing is I can, even if I don't, I, my palette dries up, I throw my palette away. I know it's thalo blue green shade. 
um, and Nutribroy 5, and even if I don't get it mixed exactly to this puddle, just put it in other spots to help unify the painting and it'll totally works. I started grabbing gray because I was thinking about unifying the painting. So what I did there a little bit is I've kind of got almost like another line behind there. And I think that's going to be behind the church, but I actually kind of like. Maybe we'll grab a little gray and darken this side. So sometimes, or a lot, quite often, I darken my sides to keep you in. I've darkened the corners to keep you in the painting. Um, it's sort of unfair, but it, I'm directing your eye on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to go on to the next painter's work. I want you to stay with mine. Okay. Good. Good. Just call it good. All right, I'm going to rinse out my brush here pretty well. Because I don't know if I'm going to come back to it for a while. And then I'm going to leave it with water in it just sitting. Do you want me to go actually wash it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, watch me regret that. Yeah. I'm going to set it up here. It's got a little bit of water in it. Okay. So normally I would dry this with a hair dryer. I just saw where I missed a spot on the side. All right, don't do it. <laughs> just move on. So even though that's probably pretty wet in spots because I kept coming back. I love tape. It works pretty well. Okay, now we're going to do the Rachel Ray thing that Emily talked about. Actually, <laughs> um, what, um, what do you want to do? Look how full. I know, you're very My full. Studio. Oh, that, the snowman looks so cute with his oh, yellow. Darn it, I meant to show him at the beginning. As, oh, because it's a, he's big? Well, because he's big, and there's a video coming up not for that big, snowman. Big, oh, he's cute. I like his yellow. Well, he goes with the red behind my yeah. big easel. Yeah. Now they're all like, what snowman? I can't see. <laughs> well, I'll have to try to remember. If I, oh, gosh. I have to remember to do it in the intro. Okay, sorry about my arm there. You got it? I got it. Okay. I put it up there. Okay. So, ta-da! I have my traceable already. It's come fresh out of the oven. Finished. <laughs> And it was really messy, it had lots of smears on it. So then I took my handy dandy kneaded eraser. Oh, there's a reference photo for this church. It's on Unsplash. I, did I link it in the video description? I will in? check. I set that up so long ago, I don't remember. We'll check, I will check. Um, but I also changed it. I made it pretty much one dimensional, so it's easy. Um, I drew it on graph paper, which can be a, a big help if you guys don't have any. You might like that. And then the only uh, perspective is this path, really, just to keep it more simple. It's something you could do if you saw a church you liked. You could turn it into your own traceable. Yes, you have the church linked in the description, but I will also just throw it in the chat, too. Okay, I'm going to so take a drink here. I've been talking a lot. People don't have to go digging if they don't want to. Okay. That's a cute church. Yeah, I like the church. It looks um, European. Mm hmm It does. And, and like the hilly, the big behind it, and the brick road that's in front of it feels yep. very... Oops. And then I simplified it. Oh, just because. All right, so now I'm debating about what I want to do. I'm thinking I'm going to do this a little, maybe a little wonky, and I'm going to paint the yellow in the windows. So it can dry, and I'm, I'm going to use, um, this is getting old on me, so I'm going to use up my Cadmed, Cadmium Red Deep Hue. And I think that's going to be the trim. This had green trim, so I think I'm going to do red trim, dark red trim. And I think I will do a dark red door, and then a red scarf, and then we'll have, I don't know if I'll, we'll bump up the cardinal here. We might. That's kind of the, where I'm thinking of going. So I might might want another palette because I really made a mess. Do you need me to grab? I don't know. Let's, oh, sorry, sweetie. I don't know. I think okay. I'm just going to go with it and we'll see what happens. Because it'll be easier if it's all. Mm -hmm. it'll, yeah. It'll probably be better for them. Well, and then I've got my <laughs> cheap styrofoam plate is kind of wonky. So this is Cad Yellow Medium Hue. So the hue means... I think means there isn't any actual cadmium in it but if you get cad yellow medium it has cadmium in it 
But that's weird because hue also means color. Well, that fits. I don't know. From, in my mind, that's a little odd. And then I'm just going to grab a brush. I don't know. I like this one. I don't, it's pretty abused. We talked about that at the last live. I don't know if it's going to... It might be too abused. <laughs> Let's find another one, maybe. This one might be too small. Excuse me, it's like a little 1 8 inch flat. So I'm going to put white in my yellow because it'll cover the blue much better. And I can always darken it up down the road. Let's do this too. Oh, and I put a clock on this church. The reference photo doesn't have a clock. I thought that would be a fun little touch. Okay. I'm going to turn this so it's easier for me to pull. So what's nice about like this church is you don't have to worry too much about I'm going to have shading and stuff on it, but it, to me it's almost like a little bit like coloring paint by number. Somebody said a couple of lives ago. There's, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. That's going to need a couple coats. I might even just put some white on there. So if you don't like having to put coats of paint on over a dark color, then <clears throat> put your traceable on your canvas and paint the sky and the background around it. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. And then you don't have to use so many coats of a transparent color like yellow to cover up the background. So we didn't... I, are you thinking, Em? Uh, no, I was just seeing why... It's you. <laughs> was I right about that? Um, I haven't figured out the CAD part, but um, so um, hue literally means color. When right. it is used in a color name, it indicates that a modern pigment has been used instead of the traditional one. So it's basically I think it has the been. color of the original color, is like kind of what they're saying. That's not a good move. I'm, I know it. Well, I don't know it for sure. I'm thinking it doesn't have the cad, cadmium in it. Well, it doesn't say. I might be wrong. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I don't know that that has any cad in it. I don't know if I've got... I'm not going to quit looking because I'm getting off track. Um, well, I, I think the thing... I think the reason I can't find... Um, let's see here. Maybe like the Liquitex site, what's the difference between CAD yellow and CAD yellow hue? I don't think it, it may, it may mean, if cadmium is toxic, it may mean that it no longer has cadmium in it, but it, the, the hue is, um, well, hue means to, color. Yes, but the, the, what they put hue behind it because it's no longer how it's originally made. Oh, well, it's yeah. just the color of the color, and it's usually typically to reduce toxic elements. Right. Um, oh, okay. Some paints contain toxic elements such, such as cadmium, cobalt, magnesium, cerulean. So they're just... Oh, I didn't know cerulean was bad for you. Mm -hmm. I have some of that. Or the original color is no longer available. Like, they can't get this stuff. I don't know. Yep. Okay, that's what I was saying, basically. So... Sounds like I was correct. But you're more, that's more articulate. Yeah, yeah, so it does not have cadmium. You were correct. But it, that could go for anything without cadmium, too. It also can be a hue. Because, oh, yeah, cad red. Oh, anything without the cadmium in, name in it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like cobalt blue. It's probably a hue. Oh, I don't know. I don't read my... Well, it just says that cobalt's, it's oh. a toxic color, or toxic... <laughs> Thing. So they make the hues. To... Oh, so cadmium and orange hue, but it probably used to have some of the yellow in it. Mm -hmm. The cad yellow. Yeah, but it's just not limited to cadmium, is what this is saying. Oh, no, yeah, like the cerulean. Yeah. I didn't know that one was toxic. Don't eat your paint. <laughs> yeah, don't eat your paint. 
Well, some people don't want it on their skin very long, but I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's like, cause I smear with my finger. I have no idea. I don't leave it on there. Maybe I should stop doing that. Okay, I'm liking that I'm pretty much painting it with white first, where this one up here had more yellow, and just get some coverage on it. I'll just come back a little white. I don't think it's dry enough. I can see it lifting. Hopefully I'm making, I should look at the time. Um, it is 12.51. About 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah, I tell you the time and I'm, you want what you want is the math. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I just looked at my watch too. But I'm also bad at the math, so that'll take, it'll take me a while <laughs> to get you the math. Well, I think it's more time than math. Well, yeah, but like I can read the time and then it takes me longer to figure out how much longer we have left. Yeah. Because um, my brain just doesn't. I was trying to say politely live. <laughs> <laughs> that clock's have always sort of stumped you. Yeah. It's, a, it's funny how just we all have something. I know. But so you're better at math than you are at time. Well, yes. Yes, true. That's all I was going. I was trying to be a little nicer today, but it wasn't working. <laughs> I wasn't getting the hint. Okay. That looks funny. <laughs> that makes me happy, too. I like, I really, I really love this time of year and painting snow. It's fun. I mean, really, that already looks like snow. You wouldn't have to do anything to the background if you didn't want to when we get to that point. Okay, I want to darken that, but I just don't know. All right, let's just see. That's dried enough. I think I need to leave alone. Okay, so what next? You know, I'm not sure. I don't know how I'm going to do the light. And it can be backwards to do the details first, but I don't want to lose them. I want to paint, if I can, I'm going to paint like a little skinny red around it for trim. So I'm thinking this is easier, but I've never, well, I've painted that other church, but it's been so long I don't remember how I did it. I suppose to repeat, I mean, acrylics are forgiving. You can, can do it either way. Oops, let's grab a little more white. Oops, that kind of belobbed on me. Oops, oops. Do you guys say oops when you paint? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'm here alone a lot and I go, oops. Now hopefully my head isn't in there too much. I don't see it at all. Good, I'm like tilting it to the side and the left. Oh, here. Oh, I'm, just like the baby, baby corner you crouched. You, you I'm gonna, I switch from my party glasses to an older <laughs> pair that's smaller, but then I don't have to tilt my head as much to get it into the reading section. <laughs> I know some of you can relate. The party glasses. The party glass. I love my party glasses. I just love that they're referred to as the party glasses. <laughs> I've been wearing the ones with the red more because I got... Um, I bought off of Amazon some nose pads that help keep it up on my nose. I don't have mm -hmm. much of a nose a bridge, and so I don't like it when my glasses are sitting all over my face. <laughs> Sounded funny. Well, I think you have a normal nose bridge for your head size. <laughs> I have a little head. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice way to say that. But it's true. It's not like you don't have a nose bridge because we kind of we basically well, have the same okay. nose. Yeah, but look at that doesn't come out very far. Like, like. Well, yeah, but I don't have. A, I we have literally probably oh, the, we same have the same nose, nose. But yeah. I don't have the glasses problem because my head's big <laughs> or bigger. Oh yes. Okay. Whereas the light bulb went on. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Whereas, because your glasses that are probably smaller and intended for smaller people yeah, I, fit uh, a lot better and stay on your head. My computer glasses are for kids. <laughs> I wasn't going to out you that you wear children's size glasses. Well, these are small. Well, you used to be able to order them now. I don't know. Um, not just because of pandemic. They were kind of stopping letting you order 
smaller sizes. I did, um, the last, I can't remember why I looked, but I did look on, um, Warby Parker, which is where I got my glasses, my two pairs, um, and they have small size frames, and they have, um, I don't think, they have a couple cute pairs, too, like, yeah. that are fun. The ones I like are always in the medium. I know, I know. I want some color, and, okay, what next? Do we want to paint the clock yellow? Maybe not. Are you just, you're just kind of painting whatever has a light, right? Yeah. Oh, but um, I guess the clock could be back. Right? Oh, here. I know. I, I'm switched to a number one. Yeah, it could be, have a light behind it, couldn't it? Or do we want it white? White. Um, I'm going to work on the snowman. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Vote now. Yeah. Text. Should I do a poll? Text you. We need do, to text do, do you want me to really do a poll? Sure. If, if the clock should have, like, it should be backlit and Sure, and if we hear crickets, well. I'll just decide. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have nobody, I don't know if that makes sense, if nobody responds, it's no big deal. I mean, I don't, you know, some people don't want to say things, you don't want to work on the snowman. So I'm thinking the light from the church is going to be on, that's why I drew, I'm looking for something to point with, that's why I drew these lines here, to remind me that there's going to be light from the church glowing on the snowman, so we'll put some of that in, get that going. I was painted right over the mouth. Oh, there. See, it worked. It, it dirtied it a little bit. But it worked quite well to paint right over that Chuck Pastel, even though it was quite dark. I don't know if that was interesting or not, but... So, actually, I'm going to go up a little higher, I think. You know what? I'll be happier, though, if I lighten. Okay. Did you want to say something or you just think? No, I, I sent the poll out. Oh, thanks. But I, I always have to imposter you. Because I, I wonder if we can give me permission to do polls. Probably. It's kind of like we don't think of it until. Mm hmm I know. We don't think of, of, of it until I need the poll. <laughs> we keep learning. We ha I had the hair dryer set up and ready for you. You know, one mm -hmm. thing you just learn as you go, just like painting. Well, and then also we didn't drag in the... Um, the other one, you know? Oh, yeah, I just yeah, used my hair dryer in the bathroom. The I'm like, oh, dryer. duh, yeah, there's a hair dryer in there. Does the original um, church have a clock or no? No. No. Yep, I like the clock idea. I just saw my tape. <laughs> I can't see if I just saw my tape do weird things. It's holding up the, I thought it was holding up the microphone cords, but it was just sitting there. All right, back to business. So I'm thinking maybe um, a little bit on the top because we've got that light. Oh, and then I really, I changed the proportion of this church. And then it had a different window in here, but I thought this window made a little more sense. All right, that might be too much yellow. You know what? That might be a little too much yellow on him, but we'll, we can tone it down too. Actually, the yellow technically would be darker. You might have to put, we'll put a shadow over it. But it would be darker under the scarf. Oh, geez. So far we have a tie, I think. <laughs> I forgot what we're, oh, uh, what color to do I, the clock? I, I, yeah, the question is, um, how should Annie paint the clock? Have it light up? the same as the windows, or no light, have it be white. And it's 50-50. <laughs> so you may have to pick anyway, unless um, somebody wants to break the tie. That's funny. I know. <laughs> I like that, though. You know, I'm thinking that I might have done this too far over. The snowman, or um, oh, the so I have like little lines of where how far to paint the the, white, the glow. The glow. <sighs> Maybe we'll um, and it's like overthinking. This is overthinking because you mm -hmm. can paint over it. All right, let's do that because I could paint over it and tone it down. So let's just do it and see if we like it. 
Did you know that Carol J was the one that ordered the Queen Anne's lace print? No, because it doesn't tell me. Um, it just says, and I don't remember the city and state. We don't have to say that live. Mm -hmm. um, no, I have no idea. It doesn't let me see that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. She oh. said that she ordered the Queen's Anne's lace for herself for Christmas. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that was one of my things I was going to talk about during the commercial break. I don't have um, any specific people to thank, but thanks, Carol. Because <laughs> I, I, I noticed I got a payment from um, Fine Art America recently. Mm -hmm. And I just appreciate you guys supporting me. It helps so much. It helps so much. It means so much. Well, I what I what I want to happen some days. I walk into some random person's house or something, you know, yeah. like we're somewhere, and you just see like some one of your little art pieces hanging on someone's wall, and then they, maybe they don't know that it's from you, but they found it on Fine Art America or something. It's you know, somebody other than Gramps. Yeah, <laughs> Gramps ha does kind of have like a it's, homage to you. It's so nice. He's got, he has several prints. He has one of the, he has the um, Cedar Wax Wing, wing Original. Mm -hmm. But that's so nice. Carol says that I should break the tie, but I did vote, so I don't know if I should break the tie. But I was Emily one should of, break the tie? Yeah, I, oh, vote, no, I voted, though. We can, oh, Emily voted. You voted yeah. him? I voted. I voted, well, because I have to do the poll as... You voted? I voted. <laughs> I, I, I have to do the poll as you, so then it pops up on my computer, so I voted. <laughs> I, 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 I voted. I did. Okay, I don't think we want it to go down too far because we would have, okay, if you're getting technical, there'd be reflective light of the snow coming up on the bottom of that snowman. Okay, so I have to make a decision right now. We should have like a little t tick tock sound, huh? Mm-hmm. For the clock. Mm-hmm. Get it? It's still 50-50. All right, so. I can't decide if it's going to make sense. That's what I'm wrestling with. Let's do it. I can always make it white. Thanks, guys. That was fun. That was actually that's helpful. I can't go wrong either way is what it sounds like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Should I not give you crud? Is it, a, is it bad if I vote, you think? Is no, that like, no. am I rigging the system? No, it was just something I could actually tease. I like to tease. <laughs> And I actually kind of like it if you get a little, um, whoever I'm teasing, it doesn't have to be Emily, gets a little, just a smidge flustered, not too flustered because I feel bad. But like, I'm just, I just want to tease you. In my family, it meant that they liked you. Mm -hmm. But I, it's, I still have trouble, like, I tease somebody and they don't get it and I'm like, oh, geez, that was bad. They think I'm either weird or mean or, because they don't know what I'm doing. This is where I feel bad about the lives and stuff because I mean, it's all, I'm just doing the same thing. It's the same thing for everything. I don't feel like you need to see it. And we may need more coats. I know we need more coats. Although this light might not. It might actually work to have kind of a uh, Let's see, we'll make the darker side over here. It may work just to kind of have it somewhat transparent like it's frosted or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to put a little blob of yellow on this side. Let's see what I think. Because we might even like have some glow. <clears throat> I gotta take a drink. I'm talking a lot today. Talky talky. Yeah, we can't have a repeat. Do you have a... Do you need a Werther's Original, a Jolly Rancher? I have a Jolly Rancher <laughs> and a Werther's Original over here by my Kleenexes. <laughs> I am ready. So we keep learning. I keep learning. I actually might kind of like that this is light yellow. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Two coats, one coat. Well, and I think once you get the and color... And you could leave it like that because then you're looking into it. Yeah. Well, and once you get the color on the church and everything, it'll feel probably even a little more yellow. You know, like once the snowman is actually white and he doesn't have that blue. Yeah. I'm going to take it off. I put that on, but I'm going to take it off. Probably not the best brush to do that. Ooh, let's get my uh, beat up little bright brush. I think it's 
Somebody told me brights are, sh I think brights are shorter and flats are longer. I think this is a bright. And now I'm wondering if I flipped it because I flip everything. <laughs> but that's decent to scrub with. I kind of maybe like that it... And then I think we'll see how it looks before we add more. Although this one, I'm not sure if I like that one. It's kind of... I love that it hasn't been on there. It was dry. Or that coat, the top, the second coat wasn't dry, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Where it's kind of frosty around the... Yeah. It looks like it's chilly there. Yeah. This is where it starts to be fun. Yeah. Yeah, they look like they have frost on the windows or something. Yeah, I think well, I'm just going to add a little... You might want to, once you're settled on it, you might want to do another close-up. It's a little... I can see it on the one window, but... I think I'm going to leave the two small windows by the door as they are. If I don't like them, I can fill them in later. This one bugs me a little bit, but I don't know if that there's any reason to, because I'm going to put... Oh, you know what? We might need a little more yellow. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. I think we'll leave it. Because here I end up putting like a little orange up here just to give it some glow. Don't always know until you get there. I don't know that we're there. I think I'm just going to... So I needed the white to cover. Maybe we'll do that. I like that a little better for some reason. Okay. Let's paint some church. Get your church on. <laughs> I think churches are there. Oh, I was looking at some churches. I I have a uh, on Unsplash a collection of some churches that I found. If you guys ever want to go look, I think you can search my name and then you just, it, it'll come up blank because I haven't uploaded any photos. But then you go to collections and it shows some of my photo collections I've saved. Um, there's some cute churches in there you might like painting. That was a really long explanation. I hope that made sense. Okay, so for the church, we're gonna do Basically, mostly white. Maybe I'll put out some fresh white just for giggles. Because I tend to get a little messy. Um, oh, the one thing I didn't mention is I painted this with a palette knife. That whole thing is palette knife. You could do that too. Brush is usually quicker for me because I get even f fussier with a palette knife. And I would have used one like this. Um... We might, I think we're going to paint it whitish, and then we might come back with some palette knife texture. So, uh, oh, here's one thing I was thinking. Red door, red around the clock. Red door, I don't know if I want red up here. I think I want red door, I'm getting paint on my <laughs> Red, red steeple. And I don't know this little triangle in here, if I'm going to put that extra little dip in there or not. Emily, do you have a preference? So like time, where red I'm... goes? Yeah, so I'm going to do a red door. Um, oh, yeah, you kind of do it. Mm. I can do red around... is going to be red. Is the scarf going to be red on the snowman? Mm -hmm. So red cardinal, red scarf, red door. Or maybe like a, yeah, like a red roof. Red steeple. Red steeple instead of red around the clock, or I could do both too. Yeah. I'd say, well, I'd say red. Mm. Hmm. I don't know if it matters. Yeah, maybe red steeple. Well, I've got a green steep steeple, but it's a small one. Yeah, he's Is, are you not driving you guys nuts? I keep showing this one. But I like how, I like the red steeple. Okay. I like the red steeple. I think if you did around the clock, it's... Maybe too much color? Uh, either, yeah, or, or it feels less unified, if that makes sense. Whereas the red 
steeple kind of. Compared it just feels like a roof color. True. Roof and trim color. Mm hmm Okay. So we want, I'm gonna, so I don't forget. I'm gonna put some white in here. I feel like we're not, a, you're not squirrely anymore. <laughs> I was squirrely. Let's calm down. Well, I can wind myself back up again. <laughs> you have about 20 minutes left if we go to our normal time. See, I don't know how long it's going to take me to paint. I know. That's one thing, like, you should really paint it, and then you're going to be faster the second time. Know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Or do, like, a little watercolor sketch. <laughs> a lot of artists do that. You know? Mm -hmm. And then they plan out, you know, and I'm like, ah, let's just do this. Okay, so here's where it would have been good to leave maybe the background behind the church. Because you can see the, um, the the trees, and then you can see the crown showing through. But we can also sometimes, here I'm going to paint up here, use it to your advantage. Like we could get like little shapes going for interest. I don't know if that makes sense here. I'll put a little... And then let that dry, and then we can come back and with another layer. And we'll kind of have... I, I did that here, too. Kind of like there's a little... I don't know, like, almost like a little block there or something. Let's make it a little more interesting. Let's, let's go with my clean white. And you could put it on thicker. I was kind of putting it on thin. I think I had water in my brush. So, but you do kind of probably on a building think horizontal or vertical. Let's grab a little white. So things get kind of putsy from here. I feel like I should tell a story. That's really not my strong suit. <laughs> Storytelling while you're painting? Oh, especially while I'm painting. Cranberry ice is about as good as I... Cranberry sorbet. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, don't, if, I know that recipe only goes as far back as my grandmother. I don't know if it goes back any further. She got it someplace? I don't know. I feel like Graham's the origin of all of our like, family dishes, you know? But she's probably not. You know, she gets it from a friend. Oh, or... the smashed potatoes are Rachel Ray. Oh, they are? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love those potatoes. Well, in her recipe, she would say, you know... So and so friend, you know. Oh yeah, those are easy potatoes. I like those. Yeah, Graham used to watch when Rachel Ray was first on TV. She was watching her a lot. So all the recipes are mish, 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 mashy. I think we're gonna have certain gray stones down here. Oh, and then we have gray steps. So we'll have to think about that. Do you think the sage dressing is Graham, or she got it from somewhere? Well, her mom made that. Oh, her mom made that? But I don't know. Graham says grandmother had a sausage, sausage dressing with no recipe. She was just made. Ugh. And I guess it was really yummy, but as a kid, I wouldn't eat hardly anything. So yeah. I, I missed out on it. Same. I remember, I just, I don't know why. I just remember all of a sudden, it was like from one year to another, and then I... I don't know if it was like I finally tried. Oh, dressing seems gross. Right? The yeah, <laughs> but I finally tried it or whatever. But once I tried it, it was like I feel like Graham had to make double, <laughs> even though I was like I don't know twelve. I feel like she would have to make more because all of a sudden, that was like the one thing I would eat. Yeah, was that and the ham and and rolls. So it was like stuffing, ham, and rolls. That's yeah. Jack was <laughs> just rolls and. Gosh, I was the worst. I was worse than either you or Jack as far as picky eaters. and So it was nothing. I mean, she she understood it. Mm -hmm. I'd broken her in. Yeah, yeah, you had broken her in. We didn't have to worry about that, yeah. There were yeah, times the... where I looked at my Brussels sprouts for hours after dinner because <laughs> I couldn't get away. I couldn't leave the table until I ate them, you know. And then I think they realized, oh, she really doesn't like them. 
Yeah, if you're willing to wait it out. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um, I just remember, like, the few... I think I only really... I stayed there a few couple times with Jack, but maybe only once on my own. And the one time on my own is the only time I remember, like, walking in with a list of, like, things that she could feed me. She so asked she, for it. Yeah, she did ask for it, but yeah. so that she knew what was what was an okay thing. And then um, I think the normal, whatever, you just said like cereal for breakfast. She'll pretty much eat any cereal, but they only had cornflakes that weren't oh, sweetened. Like, yeah, just plain. So then, you know, she gives me sugar so I can put it in the cornflakes. And I didn't really understand that the sugar is really just going to kind of sit at the bottom. So you have to scrape the bottom out a little oh, bit, you yeah. know? So I just <laughs> I kept adding more and more and more sugar until finally like it was getting a little... <laughs> probably a lot of sugar in there and then I scooped the bottom and it's just like this sand pit of like <laughs> sugar well, you would have been so little yeah in the bottom of my uh you had more than frosted flakes then. oh yeah that I mean the amount of sugar that was probably in the bottom of that bowl oh yeah she really wanted to make sure you felt comfortable you and Jack I miss, so, I think I finally got the stuffing a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. I was lacking enough onion. Um, but it's just, it tastes so much better when someone else cooks it. Yeah. And Grandma's was a home ec major, and I think she was a good cook, but it's hard to know, you know. Whoops, sorry if that was really loud. I think I just cut my microphone. Helen says that she makes her stuffing with sausage. Oh, I bet that's good. She's Italian, and that's the way her grandma always made it. <sighs> I should look for a recipe, but then it's kind of like I don't want to, <laughs> you know, part of it's tradition. Mm -hmm. So I could paint right up to the window here, but I'm just, it reminds me that I want a thicker line there when I get to the red. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had Italian, or uh, um, not Italian, but like sausage stuffing anywhere. Oh, I don't no, think. just because Graham didn't do it. Because so Chase's mom doesn't make it with salt. Maybe, mm, I don't think she ever has. She changes up her recipe every once in a while, so I, but I don't think we ever have had it that way. Well, and I could change it up. <laughs> Suzanne says we're making her hungry talking about all the food. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. I had oatmeal this morning and I'm hungry. I need to go beat up the cranberry ice. I can't forget because we're going to celebrate this Saturday even though it's early. Oh, is the cranberry ice going to um, that Thanksgiving? Yep. Oh. I'm not going to take it all. Oh, okay. I always have so much because mm -hmm. I more than double it now because I because I can't find the recipe so old you can't find the amounts yeah you know that the recipe calls for so I end up and it's it's forgiving so I I wing it every year <laughs> depending on what size of cranberries I can find I throw throw the fresh cranberries in the freezer especially with the pandemic when I saw them I just bought them I didn't care what brand it was been having trouble finding a few things which I feel that I I mean that's the least of our problems you know with the mm -hmm. um Tracy C says that she usually doesn't catch the lives live but she's playing hooky from work today but also that she's never made it uh, made um, stuffing with sausage for the same reason that um, she's afraid to ruin the tradition I feel like also just because you don't those are dishes you really only make like once, <gasps> twice a year. Twice a year. Then it's going to take a long time to like perfect another or yeah. get another down. Well, and then by that time, then maybe you'll forget how to make the original anyway. Oh, heck yes. So. That's me. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I worry every year because I don't only make it twice a year. The first batch is always a little scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at least like Thanksgiving and Christmas are close enough together that yeah, I remember you. Yeah, you kind of make it back to back. Well, I put in way more. It's a sage dressing, so I put in way more sage. I do miss when Gramps was growing sage on his patio. Mm-hmm. Um, because that was that had nice flavor. Yeah. So now I'm really throwing sage in. You know? <laughs> yeah. And then you taste it, even though it's raw. Oh, yeah. See how it is, which you shouldn't do. And then that kind of ruins I do not your taste buds, that. though. But, yeah, then I can't tell if it's any good by the time I know. That's okay. Graham did it for tons of years. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and then but then when I uh, when I was um, living at home, so I was there to like help right in the morning when you were kind of getting everything all I don't together. Like that. Uh, but I I stopped tasting it too, and I was like, this isn't as good as Graham. It's the same. <laughs> yeah, it's not as or it's just. But also, it's just generally like I'm like I miss when Graham made it. Oh, I do too. Because then you, you like you really get to like taste everything. Walk into your house and it smells excellent. You, know, you got the turkey going. You got, uh, but I'm I'm swimming in it all day. <laughs> I'm swimming in those good smells. Oh, Tracy says she makes it. She makes stuffing several times a year. Oh, that's pretty and, smart. Um, I should do that. She makes a rotisserie chicken on the grill, and then she stuffs it. Ooh, yum! <laughs> I'm starving. I know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> But next week, I mean, well, this is probably going to be a conversation all over again next week. Yeah. Oh, it was the so day good. Yeah. It'll be the day before Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, so, total personal, maybe I shouldn't bring this up now, but I guess I'm going to since I started. Mm-hmm. Um, are we still, we haven't really talked about it. Are we still planning on doing a little mini Thanksgiving the Saturday after? I think so. Because I'm working the Friday. Yeah, I think, I think we are. I, because, um. Okay. I haven't bought, I need to buy this week for it. I I, what did I... I think I said, who did I, was it, I think it was dad. I said, um, I don't know how, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm pretty sure we are. <laughs> because I, um, the one at Gramps' this week, I didn't, um, since we're having two, I um, said that Chase could just come to the one at the house. Right. And Jack's right. not going to come, so I think we still need to do it. Yeah, we do need it. Well, okay. I've, got a, I've got a little turkey breast. Well, we want da- your dad. So one awesome thing is my husband grills the turkey, and he's got it down. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Brines it, grills it, cooks it upside down before that was even a thing. We were trying to get him to, like, patent that patent or something. That. <laughs> he wouldn't do it because, I mean, he just did it by mistake when because we had a really funny-looking turkey. <laughs> we couldn't yeah. tell which way it was up. Um. I just mixed a little light blue for come work on the snowman and let the church dry. Um, <laughs> but so I don't get any juice. But yeah, we need to have one of your dad's. Yeah. Because I thought that was the purpose of the two, to make sure we got... Right, right. We got good, mm. some leftover meat. Pardon me, that's just me not remembering. But yeah, we would do it on Saturday because you have to work. I have to work at the new gallery. You work once a month, and they put me. Um, Artist Cooperative Gallery, if anybody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> I totally get it. It's just how the calendar felt. You know, it's just how it just, mm-hmm. the slot that was open that I could take because I'm the new artist, of course. Um, not like because I'm a new artist and they don't treat you well. But anyway, I work um, Black Friday, so the, the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, Christmas Eve, because... That's when Christmas falls, and that's a Friday, and then uh, Chris, New Year's Eve. So I, I, someone's working for me Christmas Eve, which is so nice. Because that's our Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that's when we celebrate. Yeah. I don't know what we're doing this year. Things are changing. Um, do you know, does Dad grill on charcoal, or does he use the chips for the turkey? I think he does both. Both? Well, the wood chips for the smoke flavor. Yes. But I think there's also charcoal because it'll burn slower. I don't know. I've never done it, so I don't know. Because I know he uses chips, I thought, for the... Yeah, because that's what you get the flavor. Yeah, he soaks the wood chips, but I think I'm pretty pretty darn sure he does both. Because then you also add charcoal as you go and you kind of check your temperature depending on how warm it is outside. It's quite an art. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because you got to, you know, you got to get it cooked. You got to get it. Mm-hmm. So if it's a really cold day, he's adding more charcoal and stuff than if it's a warm day. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Because I, I swear, yeah, he does, because he does, I thought he smoked, or uh, soaked the chips, then mm-hmm. I think you're right. Tracy was wondering. He does on a, <laughs> a, one of those black round Weber grills. Yeah. We've talked about getting something different, but he's done it that way so long. He, it's probably a whole other... The same thing of like it's another 
just like you only do it every so often. It's a whole other. Oh yeah. It take years, a couple years to get the yeah. bird right. When you started brining it, that was that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I um. Once my meat aversion ended at whatever age, I just like from then on I just hover when he starts to cut the turkey. I just hover around him. So does Graham. Yeah, so does Graham. <laughs> I just hover because oh my god, the skin is the best. Yeah, I used to only eat, when I was a kid. I would only eat chicken skin. <laughs> Fried chicken skin. I wouldn't eat the meat. I think that's just odd. <laughs> <laughs> if we have too many family memories going, we can come up with a new topic. Or too much food. Probably much Suzanne's food. probably dying from the food. She's, or she said a while ago that it was making her hungry. <laughs> so I don't know I had the values right on the snowman, but we're kind of just getting some paint down and sneaking up on it. Oh, I was talking to my stomach growl. Yay. I know. That worked. <laughs> I heard it, though. Oh, did you? Yeah, I heard it. I thought maybe having some oatmeal would stick to my ribs, as they used to say. I think my grandmother used to say that. Okay, I'm hunching now because we're doing little stuff mm -hmm. on a table. You know, that might be okay with the yellow. I was, it was scaring me earlier with the yellow on the snowman. We really went down memory lane. Mm -hmm. Food, memory lane. I could paint with a bigger brush, but I, I like this little one for pulling. I'm grabbing some straight up white for pulling the edges. I'm gonna turn it and pull it this way. And I want, and it's probably too white now. Tracy says that the food talk's making her hungry too, and that a grilled cheese is in order before she, um, she starts making dinner. Oh, we were going to do grilled cheese in that mm -hmm. fancy powdered tomato soup. I yeah, had. the Moroccan, Moroccan whatever. Tomato. What I worry is, it gonna, is it going to be, if it is, I don't know. I've never had Moroccan tomato soup, but I wonder if it's going to be too spicy for you. Oh, it might be, but I'll just, you know, I'll have a grilled cheese there. True. To mm -hmm. both cut it. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. really, that was a great idea. The only thing is I don't think Dad likes either. I don't know yeah, I don't really, Dad's, yeah, I don't know if he does. He doesn't really do grilled cheese, does he? No. Yeah. He doesn't I, do bread. Unless it's chili. True, then he dips the cheap bread in. <laughs> That's true. He does do bread sometimes. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I was thinking we might have that on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So I do need to figure out, like, well, maybe we'll just do green. Jack, well, we don't need to talk about this knee table. Maybe I'll just do the Chase's favorite salad and green bean casserole. Because it won't because it won't be back to back for you. No stuffing. Oh, and stuffing. I've okay. got I've got bread chilling. Yeah, yeah, sounds I've, good. I've got bread drying. But you mean the seven, like the not seven but seven layer salad, the Chase's favorite salad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah, he loves that one. Cause Jack pretty much wants meat and potatoes, and oh, I gotta do potatoes. This list is growing. Well, for just five of us, it gets kind of. I know it does. But I mean, Chase will Chase will take that salad home and then it'll be gone that night. Even if there's half left, I swear that it goes so fast. Is he still here? I don't know. Yeah, that's I love that. I don't. He's here in the beginning, and then I think he said I typed something in the middle, and he texted me on the side and corrected my spelling. Aww. He's like, he misspelled this or something. But I don't know if he's still here. That's okay. It's just we're talking about him. That might be too yellow for me. Okay, how things tried. No, if I like that, oh my stomach growls. Yeah, I should, I <laughs> it's because we're we gotta stop talking about the food. It's gonna get worse if we keep talking. Um, it is. Oh geez, it is one twenty nine. Yeah, my watch hasn't gone off. I actually remember to set it. I'm gonna go further just because I don't know how long the trees are gonna take me a while. Yeah. All right, let's do this because this is a two parter, correct? Yeah, we're gonna do this in two parts, and I I don't know. I'd rather get a little too far and have a short second part, shorter. Oh, yep, my watch just went off. You know, I was feeling like it was such an extravagance to buy an Apple Watch. Well, it is. But my gosh, I use it for everything. Mm-hmm. I yeah. like it. 
I don't have an Apple, but the the Garmin one that I had when I was, um, if like, um, it's just easier. Like if your phone's not next to you, you can just feel the buzz and then um, oh, you, you can get a text or. You're supposed to take a phone call? Um, it'll tell me that someone is calling. I don't oh. think it'll take a phone call. And it'll, I can see that someone has texted, but I don't think I can text back on it since it's not an Apple device. No, but it's, it's handy. Like, well, I love the steps. Yes. Yeah, that too. That part. I haven't been wearing it for like the gym, but. Um, I wear it on the elliptical. I've got yeah. an elliptic I use elliptical here in the house. Yeah, I need to start wearing it again so then I can. Because what's nice is I think. Because Chase likes the Garmin better for the gym, and I think it registers things better than the Apple Watch for that stuff. But like, it'll literally like, it'll notice when you're when you've kind of like stopped um, a set of if you're lifting even, it'll just notice, and I don't know how. Wow, like magic. <laughs> that is better than the Apple, I think. I think the Apple. I feel like the Apple kind of is. It slowly catches up, you know, but then Garmin or another brand does something else and. Oh, yeah. Well, I, you know I'm Apple because of way back in the day, you had to have a Mac computer to deal with printers. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when I started my graphic design business at home and you were just two, barely two, mm -hmm. that was still very much a thing. Yeah. So, and then I, so then I got all the Apple, other Apple stuff because it... I like that they all talk to each other. They all talk to each other. Makes it easier. Well, and I know it. I mean, back in... Yeah, that too. Too, like when I worked for the publishing company in Minnesota, um, I was the person that called tech service. I don't know why. It's not like I had any computer class or anything, but it, it's like it made sense to me. So, so even though I was working for a publishing company, I was the one that did all the the IT stuff. They didn't have IT people. <laughs> we had salespeople and we had graphic designers and... We had, we had a typesetter. They had a type machine um, that spit out lines of type. It wasn't metal type. It wasn't like at the printer, but it was set, spit out photographic paper lines of type. Okay, now I'm sounding really old. <laughs> That's funny how that, I suppose it's just because I'm like, you know, I wonder if it's because when I was hired, I was like hired for the backup receptionist because it got my foot in the door mm -hmm. for the publishing company. And then it's like, oh, she can, I quickly became the, stat room camera person because I had all that photography in high school and, mm -hmm. you know, and then I think that's how things just happen I just could kind of like you mm -hmm. at your job you'd like oh I can do that or I can take the photos or I can edit them, yeah. edit them in Photoshop <laughs> you know yeah you have all these skills I'm talking too much about myself I went down memory lane um not to bring up food again uh oh but, so, um, Helen said that she also makes green bean casserole, and um, Tracy said that she's tried to make it once, but it was awful, and her friend makes it, and it's so good. And people have said that about me, I guess, or, like, if, when I make it for a friend, or, like, I, it's my job to make it at Chase's parents' house. But I, I think the thing is, is that if you actually follow, well, we don't, I guess, follow the um, true recipe on, like, if you get the... What are those, the little onion crispy guys? Is that the one that it's on the back the of? French is French fried onions, is that the brand? I think that's, but is that the one that's on, is, or is it on a soup can that's on the back of? I don't know. Either way, whatever it is, <laughs> you don't add the milk because it gets too soupy. Or just add a little milk. Or just a little bit, yeah, yeah. and then it stays thicker, and I feel like you, it doesn't dilute the like flavor as much. Mm -hmm. But it's, oh. And then you also, we mix in the crunchies into the mix some crunchies into yeah the you mix the crunchies into it the onion crunchies and then but then you also save enough for the top yeah not nearly as much liquid and a lot more french fried onion yeah so of course i mean thicker. doing that in the stuffing we have major onion breath going on. <laughs> you know oh yeah yeah <laughs> but the high onion is probably the onion garlic are probably the best seasonings they go on everything i put them in, in everything I'm going to work on the steps. So I painted it kind of dark by the steps so I can paint the steps lighter and we'll see if it works. But really not a lot happening here. I mean, good thing we're probably mm -hmm. talking about food. <laughs> Chase said in all caps, eggnog is the best holiday food. No. You know, your dad used to love to get eggnog. No. He doesn't do it anymore. 
I have never had eggnog because it's very thick milk or whatever, and I'm lactose intolerant. So oh, yeah, that's, that's just a. I can usually like I can get away with like skim milk or like two percent down, but like anything, that's scary. I can't. I can't. It's I don't venture much. into the thicker things like ice cream or whatever. Um, but so I Chase found. Um, we were at the grocery store, and he got an almond milk eggnog. So it's not thick, but it has. He said that it tastes like it, or a little bit different, but pretty much, it. I hated it. I couldn't. It was like it was literally like drinking liquid ice cream. I've never had eggnog. I did not like it, and it's very. It's kind of up my. <laughs> Tracy says my mom used to lace it with rum. Oh yeah, for the yeah, eggnog. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what eggnog is for. Is. Um, but I can't. I, I tried it, and Chase literally a couple of nights ago had, like, a, a glass of it, and I'm just looking at it like, oh, It just tastes like liquid ice cream, like kind of cinnamony, nutmeggy ice cream. Oh, so it's like you let your ice cream melt when you're a kid. Hershey's syrup on it, stir it all up, and you drink it. It's like a milkshake. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds good, but I've never had eggnog. It wasn't that thick, though, because it's almond milk, so it can't, I can't get that thick. Oh, uh, yeah. I, don't, I, I should buy some, try it. But um, let's see here. A little earlier, Tracy said, uh, "Listening to you walk down memory lane is nice. It, it's 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 also helps humanize the digital person." Oh yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So every time my stomach growls, it's a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> I can quit talking. Yeah, about you're it. not a robot. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm far from that. I think that's one thing art teaches you. Even though I get fussy with it, even after all this time, is kind of teaches you to relax because there's a lot of things that are going to go wrong. Mm-hmm. can fix it. That's not dark enough or not light enough. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe I'll just leave it. But um, I do remember, I, I don't know. <laughs> really if, if, well, yeah, but if Chase, it's, this was so funny. I don't know if Chase is still in the chat, but we, I want to say it was literally Christmas Day. And something had happened, and I don't know if Chase didn't go to the grocery store to, like, get stuff or if he forgot to tell his mom or whoever went to the grocery store for Christmas stuff, but he didn't have eggnog, and he usually drinks it, like, Christmas morning. And we went to, like, five gas stations Christmas morning to find him eggnog. Or, like, CVSs. Open. Yeah, the things that are open. <laughs> and I don't know if we – I can't remember if we ever found any, but we oh. went to, like – uh, I can I think of like the two gas stations that are nearest to us. I think we went to a Walgreens and a CVS, and I don't know I cannot remember if they. These are it. all U.S. places. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was so funny. So like, gas stations and pharmacies, basically. Yeah, we're like all literally in like pajamas, and she says like I need that eggnog. They didn't have it. He says. <laughs> Aww. I yeah. I just remember. Um, I feel like CVS was the last one we went to and the defeat of, like, it's just not there. Like, they have milk and stuff, and that's what people are there buying is, like, milk or, yeah. you know, oh, crap, I ran out Chips. of this or, yeah, like the... Bread. Mm-hmm. You know, but, so I put chips in, in the staples with bread and milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we, I mean, we were looking. Aw. A holiday bummer. He says, toughest Christmas ever. I'll have to give him a hug when I see him tonight. Yeah. I'm sorry I re I reopened that wound. But oh, we have eggnog to comfort you, you in the fridge. You should stick the knife in and twist it a little, sweet pea. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> if it's too much, we have eggnog in the fridge to comfort him. Yeah. Okay. Is that going to work or do we need a little... I could grab a little... Oh, my blue. Sometimes those... I complain about the burnt umber too. Sometimes those dark colors really dry quicker. Oh, that was an interesting. I won't even correct the grammar there. That was an interesting sentence. You know, Freckles, my cat is leaving us alone. Well, yeah, she's passed out on the original office chair. Oh, she's on my. Uh, yeah, I have. I haven't gotten the seat back yet. She knows which chair is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I assume it's because she likes the padding in that chair better. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with her. So I'm just putting a little blue gray in there to help the steps pop out. And you can still see my um forgot I was talking and I forgot to lighten my charcoal lines. But we can come over there with a little snow or something to fix that. Okay. 
So I really want to go back and do more on the church. I wonder if we want to do some straight up gray. Oh, here you know what we could do. I set my watch for another 30 minutes in. Okay. Oh, I can tell though. <laughs> I, I feel it in my back. That's not dark enough. Oh, my gray's drying too. Chris's palette's a couple days old. It's hard on your brushes when you mix with your brushes, but I do it. Especially I know. I would always try to mix with like a palette knife or the back of a brush. I only want a little bit. But I always end up just going to the brush. Oops, and that's not getting a kind of line that I want. Super fat. So I'm cleaning out my brush. Not perfectly, but, and it's getting worn, it's starting to split. I'm just gonna grab, oh, I haven't been paying attention if I'm on camera. You are, you're good. You would've yelled at me. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. That's what's so nice about having you here. And you're not probably getting a chance to crochet. Oh, I got farther than I did last week, so. Oh, good. Even though the chat's busier this week, I somehow got farther. Maybe I'm Googling less, or, I don't know. And then memory lane to boot. Yeah. So it's, can it can be easier to skinny up a line than to paint it thin, and now I'm just kind of messing with it because I can't help myself. That'll make our clock pop out a little bit. I'm going to put some shadows in. It might be a little soon, but... Okay, light from up here. That's what I usually do when I don't have a... I should almost draw like a sun on my... This is just... Oh, sorry, I have a... Uh, brush my mouth. This is just cam sheets of canvas that I taped to my light table to protect it. There. <laughs> we got a sun. That made me happy for some reason. I can hear the wind kind of howling through the yeah. window. I don't know if anybody else, I doubt anybody else can. It's not probably loud enough to reach my mic. And the neighbor's lawn service came early this morning. I didn't even think about that. We didn't hear it. Yeah, well it's Fall, winter. Mm -hmm. Oh, true, 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 true. November. Yeah. Say the 17th, 16th? 17th. 2021. I'll say that again just in case somebody's <laughs> watching this two years later. Because I, I mentioned the giveaway while you were hair drying. Oh. On Facebook. Only on Facebook just so I can find you oh, guys. I used to do it everywhere. And then I was like, okay, this person actually entered twice, you know, here and here. And I didn't want to lose anybody. I'm like, okay, we're just doing it on Facebook so I can see everybody and I don't miss anybody. I used to try to drive people to my blog, but I don't do that anymore because I discovered people would rather just stay where they are. They don't want to go click mm -hmm. to a thousand another, places. Yeah, another spot. Yeah, it's getting a little windy or something. It is. It sounds kind of ominous. Mm hmm. But since it's November, I'm not worried about tornadoes or anything. No, yeah. And it's, I got a notification yesterday that the temperature, I think, was going to drop today and tomorrow or something. It was 72 yesterday. I was going to go I for know. a walk, but I ended up running down to the gallery. And we had snow on Friday. I mean, it didn't stick, but they, um, at least um, where I was, the flurries were pretty big. Like, it yeah. was like, it looked like it was snowing, snowing. Yeah. But it just didn't, it, unless it, anything was off the ground, it just didn't stick. I'm just skinning up my shadow a little bit. Has anybody else had snow? I think Suzanne said it was snowing today in Canada. Yeah, I would think so. And I think, but I think it's just rainy. Let me see. We got a bit to scroll through. Oh, well, that's okay. I just popped in my head. Yeah, but I was thinking, oh yeah, Bonita said that it was windy and rainy there. So I wonder if, what, I don't know how slow things travel. Like how long a storm, if it's like that big of a storm, if it, because, like, what I was noticing was... Well, hers um, is going to most likely go to the, you know, east-ish, southeast-ish. It could go north. Well, yeah, but um, a couple of the... I think a, a podcast that I listened to, they were talking about how it was raining or something, or a podcast that does, like, a live thing. They were talking about how it was raining in, in California and it was horrible or something like that. And then two days later was, a, like, a day that it was raining here. Like, so I was, oh. was kind of like, ah, I, bet, I wonder if that's the same storm. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it is. So I don't know if, like, what flurries, if it was from, um, probably not ours. It's probably kind of a slow trek. 
Okay, this is really backwards, you guys. I mean, like, I should probably put the red on and then the shadow. But as long as I'm working with my gray, I'm just putting it on. I wonder if I have a little more shadow on that clock, because these are a little darker. And I'm going to probably want it skinnier. <laughs> I want more on the church because I'm getting my background showing through. Oops, that's really fat. I've got a smaller, ooh, I don't, I threw out that liner brush that if you guys have been with me, that was longer and splitting and I really like this one, it's short. You threw it out? I threw it out, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> I don't, I can't tell what that says on there. It might be like one over zero. I like that one. Of course, it's new. I usually like the new one. Oh, I just probably put too much water in my gray there. But I could, the point of that was is I could um, get out a smaller brush. So right now we're just, it's really layers and what direction your light's coming from. That's a good chunk of what art is. Once you've got the structure down, which if you're not good at the structure, I'm giving you, this is simple, simple um, painting design. My subject's in the middle, my cardinal and my snowman are looking at the subject, you know. You could say it's kind of A-shaped if you wanted to get kind of fancy about it, but... Structure doesn't have to be complicated. Oops, I got a water, a little bit of water hanging there, I don't want it to drip. So one thing nice though about doing the shadow now is I can sneak up on it as I go back in and add to my church color. Oh gosh, only a minute 47. Hmm? Oh, how long did you? For, on my timer, I think. My watch is frozen though. How long did you oh, set it for? Oh, now it says 12. It was something else. Oh, okay. Oh, that must have been the time. Yeah, <laughs> you're a minute 47, it is 147. <laughs> yeah, it was, that must have been the time. My watch kind of froze when I lifted it up. So I thought it was the timer. I may have to come back and put some of these in. Which, I, I, don't, I like that. It just helps the painting. I feel like I've talked a ton, Sweet Pea. Yeah, we have talked a lot, this one. I don't know. I, I have a hostess issue. <laughs> I worry about people. A hostess are with they a mostess? having a good time? Are they comfortable? Do they have a drink? A beverage? You know. Mm -hmm. Do you need something else? I don't know what that's from. It's not my mom particularly. I mean. What do we think? Very underpainted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paintings come together at the end usually. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need more on our church. You know, the steps aren't bad. They're kind of bugging me because I didn't... Oh, here, I wonder if I can um, see how dry they are. Oh, you can tell I'm getting warm, getting pink. Yeah, me too. Must be just getting warmer Do you want to crack the window? Yeah, I'll crack the window a little more. I realized I was kind of warm a little bit ago, but we were, we were going down memory lane. Mm-hmm. I love acrylics. Look at that. You can, like, beat up on them. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not cured. I don't know how long... If you really want to be super safe, they cure in a week, but I really, I mean, that dried quite well. Now I could, I could take some water and probably lift it up. Oh, that's, it's chilly out. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. I maybe opened it too much. Okay. Well, you're in charge. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you feel a little cooler and then I'll probably, uh... Well, so typical me, my feet are cold, but my... <gasps> my feet are cold. Well, and also the heat. Mm-hmm. Sinks. Um, I'm going to clean that up. I got a little blob over there. But my face and my hands are hot. My hands are cold. My feet are cold. 
but I'm warm, like, in, in my middle. <laughs> well, you, have, you have a ton of hair, so, like, your back tends to get... Yeah, I put my hair up, yeah. My neck was getting warm. Okay. I could keep... Whoops. I just... Um, I cleaned my brush off on a damp paper towel, so it picked up paint from the paper towel. <laughs> oh, I feel the breeze. Mm, good. I think I saw a comment um, on the last live. I was looking around like yesterday or something when I was uploading a video or something like that. And uh, I think someone someone's like, the lives are getting longer. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we're figuring it out. I don't know. You know, we'll, I want to, part of me wants to do whatever people who come want to see me do. And part of me is like, but I got to. I gotta keep in mind I need to get this pet, like I'm working on a pet portrait. You know, I gotta edit the snowman video and get it to you, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so try and balance it. Yeah, um, Tinker showed up and she showed up late obviously, but she just she just got here a couple of minutes ago, but and she's saying, um, cold feet, we should take a vote to see who sleeps with and without socks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna paint for a little bit longer. <laughs> um, put me down for with socks, Em. <laughs> And a heating pad underneath a couple blankets by my feet. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. That could be too much information, but it might put some people at ease. I could never, I mean, maybe I'll have to get to a point where I sleep with socks on, but never, 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 never. Oh, as a kid, I didn't even hardly wear sweaters. And I was so hot all the time. Well, but I, I like the feeling of like the blankets on my feet. Oh, I do like too. The sheets. But if my feet don't warm up, I can't go to sleep. So. Yeah. Well, what I do because I've been having that problem too. I just I pull a second blanket and I literally sleep with it over my head. Yeah. Or like I sleep in a hoodie and I have a hood on. That would keep you much but warmer. No yeah. socks. Well, that would keep you warmer. Like you know, like the oh, the night before Christmas where the mon or kerchief and I and my cap, you know, they have mm -hmm. hats on to keep them warmer. Okay. I think it. I put it in the chat. It might take Thanks, a minute Tinker, to go. Thanks, Tinker. That's fun. Yeah. Well, you can't vote though because I have to. Okay, I told him anyway. Yeah. Because you, you have to. Because uh, well, I have to put. You are the one. Your account makes the poll, so it won't allow me to have you vote because oh, you made fine. the poll. So I voted for me. <laughs> Just push me aside. I don't care. Yeah. Because I shouldn't say that because that was really strong. And now somebody's going, don't be so mean to your daughter. <laughs> She's so nice. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's funny. But, yeah, if my feet don't, if I don't get them warm. My I'm just, feet? I, oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm no, gonna... just that. My feet, I cannot be wearing socks, but but they can't be out. Like, they need to be covered by a blanket. Mm -hmm. Like, if I if I wake up with one of my feet poking out, like, that's, I don't know. It has to, it has to be, in a, even, no matter how warm I am. Like, I remember Chase's in my, or, like, the, our AC has gone out, and the, like, warmer, it's warmer out, and it, so it sucks. And the apartment gets really warm, but I literally will sleep with still a blanket, like, on my, like, covering just my feet. Mm -hmm. Oops, I might have skinned that up too much. Oh, well, we can unskinny it if needed. <laughs> so Tinker says she's, I think pre poll says that she's a without socks and her feet need to breathe. And Tracy says she starts out with socks, but picks them up or picks them off the floor in the morning. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That would be, I bet if I tried to sleep with socks on, I would have them, they would be on the floor in the morning. Her socks remind me of my retainer when I was a kid. I used to throw it nicely or get, take it out. <laughs> And I'm like, I swear, I, you know, my mom would be like, you took that? I'm like, I didn't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I didn't have it very long. I didn't have the headgear thing. You, I don't know if you, you oh. wouldn't know that. Emma. Was that Mark? Uncle Mark. Uncle Mark had, had headgear, yeah. Headgear thing. I just had the wire thing, and it went over your front teeth, and you just, kind of like dentures, you popped it up into your mouth. So does that mean I get the mouth problems from you guys? I don't think so, but I don't know. Um, 
I mean, I guess I didn't have that many. Graham had a thing about, like, my teeth aren't great and they kind of bend in. Mm -hmm. um, but Graham really had a thing about teeth, even though mine were pretty good, really. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, it's yeah, cool. I never had braces. And nobody ever suspects, like, that I needed braces. <laughs> yeah. Well, we just, yeah, we, Jack didn't have anything. I'm thinking that's a true thing. But I don't know, sweetie. Yeah. All right, do I kind of like it? It kind of looks like it might have some snow on it. You might need to get some of the red trim on it. Yeah, it's cute. Let's see what we think before we go too far. I put a little blue, like that's a little really light blue. But now I don't think we have, I'm gonna look at the, the live. I don't think we have the background showing through much. Uh, I think it's good. Yeah. I mean, it's okay if it shows through as long as you can't tell there's a tree that like yeah, this line here. Yeah, I don't think here. so. It's, but also I can't really tell from the how close or how far and we're not far far away but our point of view okay so i sorry i kind of sighed i wasn't i must not have been breathing there i should have been breathing when i was painting <laughs> um yeah bonita says how do your feet breathe with socks on lol <laughs> that's so true i feel like uh, the few times i'm like in bed and i have fall asleep with socks on i like i wake up and i'm sweaty like, it's just sweat. Well, you're a hot body. I yeah. used to be like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm afraid you might end up like me. Oh, yeah. You might not. I have a warm a warm child, and it just sucks the heat out of me. Well, yeah, I was really hot as a kid, but as an adult, I'm cold. Or as an old lady, I'm cold. Well, I thought you would always... Um, I thought you always said that you were colder, or you like started being colder after you had kids. Oh, yeah. So, like, I was a warm child, and I just sucked all the heat out yeah. of you. <laughs> yes, I did say that. Yeah. Oh, my God, you were hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Suzanne says... Jack was a summer baby, but I was hot with you. <laughs> yeah, Tinker... Or, or Suzanne says that she's always warm and no socks for her. Yeah. I, I sit in the... I sit at home in, like, 68 degrees in shorts. And I mean, I guess I have a blanket sometimes, but got a blankie. Not always. I'd rather be cold and snuggle up with a blanket than like, um, I don't know, like be warm, like wear too many layers. You know, like I like I prefer the blanket feel. Yeah, I prefer cool, even though I'm cold. Mm -hmm. Is that interesting? I prefer the house cool. This is probably ridiculous to talk No, about. actually, there's, I think the chat came alive again when we brought up socks. Tinker did? Tinker, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When Tinker brought yeah, up socks. I appreciate socks. that, Tinker, keeping everybody awake. Yeah. Because this isn't, I'm like, I am hitting my painting with a needed eraser that can't be the most exciting thing in the planet. Yeah, we are only 17% with socks. You you would make it a, little, a few more percent with, if I could vote for you, but 83% is without socks. Oh, they're wrong. They're just wrong. <laughs> Yeah, my feet are cold, but I'm still, my hands, are, well, see, my hands aren't quite as pink. You, mm -hmm. you cooled yeah. it off a little bit in here. Are you freezing now, kiddo? I'm a little cold, yeah. I'm in a t-shirt, so. Oh, um, Freckle is awake, so I could steal my jacket. From oh, me. I'm going to stretch my back a little. All right, uh, Cad Red DPU. I like that that's a cooler red. Yeah. It'll you still pop, but it's still. You can mix it. It should be a little more opaque than the quinacridone. I don't actually know if that's a fat. Did Let's see what it does here. Was cad? Well, you said that was cadmium. Cad medium hue. Cad red deep hue. Deep hue. Um, is that what you used on the um, the cardinal that's on the Christmas card? Or no? Is that too warmy? I don't remember. We, the nice is we can go back and look at the video. True. I don't remember what I did. Probably because I don't think I used quinacridone in that one. Do you remember me? I don't think you used quinacridone in that one. Oh, so I'm going to have a dilemma here. If I've got red trim and a red door, how's that going to work, people? <laughs> I'm grabbing Oh, some. yeah. Talk about when you should do a like a, a little watercolor sketch or like Just, a little color pencil. Mm -hmm. I'm grab so I grabbed a little bit of my um, mm. the yellow blue green shade. And we're gonna put a shadow in there right away. Are, oh, so you're gonna still do the trim? Red? Well, this trim's gonna be red. So I was gonna say you could. I don't know what you'd 
have it be, but if you don't want to do all the trim red, you could just do the ledge on the window sills red, you know? And then, so door red, window, little ledge that you have there, red, and then the steeple, red. I'm just laughing because it's like red. 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 <laughs> red. <laughs> you are my daughter. So much red. So I'm going to go with a little darker door. And we might go with a little darker steeple. Well, stay tuned. Oh, you know what? Now I got another problem. Holy buckets, Batman. Does anybody know that reference? Mm -mm. It's an old Batman cartoon that used to be on after school. Um, Adam West was Batman. I don't remember who was Robin. Oh. It was an American thing. I'm going to take some of the blue. They have a blue green shade. It's kind of drying on me. So oh, hopefully I'm still in, in frame. And oh, I'm going to draw a little. Oh, yeah, you're in frame. A little skinny line if I can. So I got a talk skinny. <laughs> talk skinny. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, goodness. Okay. Kind of want that to dry a little bit. And I could always put it in later, but that'll help me remember it. So now I've gone, we've gone two hours in. Mm hmm. It is 2.01. And I have no idea how much longer this is going to take me. Ooh. But two hours is a long time. Do you think like another two hour live next week? I don't know. The trees will go faster than the church. The church is just futzy. Mm hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So I just keep painting because I don't know. Oh, I kind of like the dark in there. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's kind of yummy. It's yummy. I don't know how long. Okay, so I'm, now I'm thinking about like Ginger Cook, Angela Anderson. <laughs> I don't. How, I don't watch them. Lock how long do they go? Art. I think they go about two hours. Two hours. And if anybody knows and doesn't mind telling me, because I'm like, I don't know how long people want. Like, I, I keep saying I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Like, are people waiting? Or do people want to see the whole thing? I think they want to see the whole. And thing. then are sticking around, but it's going too long, kind of thing. Yeah. But I do like YouTube better than, like, Twitch. I'm not worried about the it's easy, to, oh, sorry. it's easy to play back or whatever, start over. Like, I, you could hop in now and be live and still start from the beginning, which isn't always a thing everywhere. Right. Well, and I'm not worried about the replay because they can just skip ahead. Yeah. You know, like, I think the Cardinal video, people watch just three minutes of it. <laughs> You know, yeah. I think it's a 16, 18 minute video. Yeah. You know, so that part doesn't insult me or bother me, but it's like, you know, what's it like live? Is it mind numbing? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't either. I don't know either, so I'm going to probably paint the door and then maybe stop. And then maybe lie because I don't know what I want to do here. I got a little darker in this corner. I don't know if I like that. There's a lot of things I don't like when I paint. And I try to tell myself, oh, I'll just wait and see. I like this cranberry color. So this um, cad red hue, when you see it on my white plate and in a big lump, is lighter than what's on the door because there's the blue behind it. But gosh, I think I like it. Mm-hmm. I kind of see if I have a better flat brush that isn't fuzzed out. Oops. I just went over the line. Because that would make this go a little faster if I used a bigger brush. I'm going to grab just a pinch of white. I thought the berry, yeah, I thought that berry color might be kind of fun. Yeah, I like it. It's yummy. It's yummy. And it's, um, it's still feels, even though it's a red and a warm color, it still feels like it goes with the painting because it's a cooler red. Mm -hmm. I like it. So I'm just smearing in a little light color while it's wet. Let's see if we like it. I mean, that might be too much on that one door. Helen oh. says that Angela and the art trip go two hours. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They try not to go much longer. But Tracy points out, if you didn't go this long, I'd never been able to catch the live. <laughs> well, that part's true. Yeah. Very true. I have been feeling like the last couple times. That's very true. Um, 
there's quite a few people that, at least like, the, or in the chat show that they, like they say that they've, oh no, I didn't, I didn't realize you were still alive or like happy you're still alive, you know? Right. Cause, um, and it's right around our usual end time. The hour and a half. Well, first it was an hour because I didn't want to go longer than that. <laughs> and then it quickly turned into an hour and a half. And then an hour and a half. Well, now I didn't have a ton of battery left after an hour and a half. So this oh, yeah. live could end on its own. Yeah, the live just ends. <laughs> if it does, that's probably a good thing to say. If this live ends, you know my phone went down. Yeah, it, yeah, we've we've just we've killed the phone. I like that. I think it works. At least mm -hmm. it's working. And then I can put in the little. Oh, sorry, I just hit my microphone again. I scratched my neck and. Mm -hmm. um, I can put the little, and then that'll work with the red trim, I think. Oh, nope, not right there, though. But I was saying around the one fifteen ish mark, someone will usually hop in and be like, I'm late, or, you know, something like that. So it's kind of nice that we have been going a little longer so then they don't just barely make it and see us wrapping up. Right. And full disclosure, Emily's been wanting me to go longer because she knows how <laughs> these things work. And I'm like, I don't want to because it just doesn't seem interesting to me. <laughs> but you know when you're the artist it's a whole different perspective than when you're mm -hmm. an artist who's watching does that work like the are you talking about the darker edge or mm -hmm. what yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. awesome. it kind of feels like um there's more of a entrance to the oh it's set back yeah it feels like there's it's you know you got a little overhang now around you. Helen says a ginger now does a mar does marathon. So I assume she goes Oh, that's hours? like twitchy and terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so I used to watch Ginger Cook in the beginning oh, I don't know how many years ago because I was doing watercolor art and licensing my art and I was getting interested in acrylic and I thought, well, I wonder if there's something some tips I could pick up and I don't know about acrylic. So I watched her for a little bit, and the, the tip I picked up from her was the spraying the back of the canvases, the gallery wrap canvases, to tighten them. That was like the best tip ever. And then I stopped watching her because I, you know, I wasn't catching any more things I thought I didn't know. Or Does that make sense? Yeah. Saying. Well, and I feel like it's, because um, you were just talking about how you were excited that Jack had suggested a podcast to you, because you can't, I feel like you can't, paint you probably don't you could probably get distracted more while painting like if ginger is going while you're painting than if um something that doesn't have something to see yep if there's video it's, yeah if there's video it gets I start you more watching it. okay oh you know what i didn't do <laughs> that sounds like other artists that i've watched <laughs> when i think ginger's great i just you know i didn't paint the in i was thinking the inside here is gonna be white Didn't do that. Helen and Suzanne love the door. The door pops. I like the cranberry color with mm -hmm. the kind of aqua color. I think that might be better than the hooker's green. We'll find out when we get closer. It might be too strong. It, okay, now we got a huge look at me. I'm a berry door, and there's no other berry color in here. Mm -hmm. So it really says, look at me, I'm a bullseye. It's not always bad. And I didn't do the shadow in here either. Okay, so we should probably wrap this up. And see what I'm gonna, what's gonna bug me is I'm gonna wanna paint this to get it further along, not live, you know? <gasps> so that we can get it done and Two hours. I probably should have done something a little smaller than eight by eight, but sometimes smaller is hard. Is well quicker because it's small, mm -hmm. but sometimes harder because it's like okay, the even smaller brushes to get things to. Yeah, it's harder to get the detail. It's kind of a toss up. Yeah. Helen says that Ginger sells her paintings around the holidays, and she does special marathons. Hmm. Well, I've seen, I've watched one recently, I didn't watch much of it, but like, I don't know if they're married or they're still dating, but... Oh yeah, she says, well, she says her, um, 
Ginger tells amazing stories. Her partner joins her filming, and they they both are amazing. So I, she, I don't know if by partner, I bet they're That's maybe John. not married. Yeah, maybe they're not married. Um, yeah, Ginger tells great stories and can paint. Like, that's so cool. I wonder if her ears are burning because I'm talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> so we love you, Ginger. They're engaged, Helen says. Yeah. He was helping her remotely. I mean, she's been doing it, I think, a long time. And then um, he's got, like, this whole setup. He sits in, like, a video game setup and stuff that goes over his, like, oh head. And he they have multiple cameras. Oh, you're talking a video guy. I was thinking, I thought her... No. Um, he's right there with her, and they have all these different camera angles. I thought her significant other helped her, though. He does. Oh, okay. He does. But in the beginning, he was remote. Her um, significant what, other was remote? Yeah, he was in another state. <gasps> oh! And I was watching him. That's when I was watching him. I thought the, they were two different people. I mean, I've never watched her, so it's just like the, um, when he, we were talking about sometime about how, uh, if we ever go to an actual camera, not your phone kind of thing, you were telling me about, um, how, about Ginger, but I, uh, I didn't know that they were, I thought they were two different people when you talk about her, um, significant other, and then about this person that helps her film. Oh, no, the same. Oh. <laughs> so I think that's how they met. He was helping her. And then her daughter's the art Sherpa. I knew that. I think I knew that. Yeah. She's doing a great beginner series. I haven't watched any of it. But, you know, canvases and boards and brushes and color. And, and it's a, Golden is really nice because they have a lot of information on their website. Oh, Helen, at the exact same time, said the same thing that you said. Ginger's daughter is the art Sherpa. Oh, yeah. Well, I had one of her brushes and didn't know it. Yeah, that was funny. I forgot. I forgot. I mean, I I wonder knew where it you I got it. it. I don't know where I got it. But I wonder if it was like at Michael's or or if we went to Blick and you got a brush and you just didn't know. Because <laughs> I didn't know you had that either, and I feel like you would have been oh, like, it's a cloud I got... brush. Yeah, I thought you would have been like, I have a YouTuber's brush. <laughs> but in my cloud video, in my cloud video, I use this brush, which is similar. I think that's like a fake hog hair because it's really stiff mm -hmm. from Princeton. But that's funny. I didn't even realize. I bet you I bought it because she was talking about her cloud brush back in the day when I was. Oh, And then okay. I forgot about it, and I really actually like this one. <laughs> I mean, not like this brush. Her brush, is, brush isn't amazing. I've never used it. It's brand new. Um, it's just funny how you forget about things, get stuck on things. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to quit here soon, don't I? Mm, maybe. Yeah, I'm not worried about the replay. I'm just worried about people sticking around. Well, I assume also my people, phone battery. That too, yeah. I'm more worried about the phone battery than people. Because I bet, I mean, people, it's not like we, it does not say like, I don't know, Rachel left the chat. You know, it doesn't, so we don't know, you know? Oh, yeah, that's good too. Because, I mean. <laughs> then the, people don't feel pressured to yeah. stick around, hopefully, if they have to go. Well, and I think, I keep going because I think what I'm going to end up doing, so like this has a little bit of snow on the top of the roof, you know, and then the trees, and then I've got, you know, I've got a fence post, and then I put snow on, you know how I did the branch for the cardinal? Mm -hmm. It's like three or four steps. Yeah. Ginger does it, I think, sort of in fewer steps, but I just don't paint the way she paints. She kind of paints almost like um, Van Gogh Starry Night. I was going to say, the few that you, um... I think like uh, I looked her up once and I or like I Google searched her or something. I saw her art. It is more like painterly or it's I don't a, know. Like it's Van more impressionistic. You're, you're, it's, yeah, it's more. It's like Van Gogh starting now. Uh -huh. There's a lot of short, not always, but short brush strokes. Mm -hmm. Which is yeah, that's cool. a good. Yeah. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah, and it's paint on top of t paint. Um, mm -hmm. She does mix. I, I, if if this is still true because I haven't I mean I watched her a little bit the other day but I don't remember why and then I didn't um like her brush will be like I clean my brush out more which takes longer she'll just grab more paint mm -hmm. oh hey freckles are Hi. we going too long yeah she's yes yeah, she, it's cuddle time now come on come on can you do it 
<laughs> that I think if nobody was hearing her meow, they probably heard that last one. It was like right in my chest where my mic is. Freckles is, how old are you, Emily? Are you 25? Mm-hmm. So Fre we think Freckles is 15. 15. This is straight up uh, Cad Red Deep. Yeah, Tracy says she paints in reference to um, Ginger. She paints very loosely. That's another good way to say it. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Mm hmm I mean, that's not a bad thing. Well, you probably, it's probably, I guess it could be just as stressful, but hopefully less stressful when you're looser about it and, you know, and it just kind of happens more and you're less calculated, you know? I think she does take more time off camera because I've seen some, like, she'll hold up, this is one of our lessons on our website or whatever she mm -hmm. does. And it's like, ooh. And I can tell she's spent more time blending. And, mm -hmm. and of course, maybe that's, the ooh is just because it's more my taste, not that it's better. Yeah. Helen says that you paint, like, Angela Anderson. Yeah. I assume Angela Anderson is who she's referring to by, oh. <laughs> Freckles is giving me a hug and he's covering my mic. Um, uh, I assume that's the Angela. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I do. I'm more similar to her. Although she did a, a still life really fast. Of course, she's been doing YouTube longer than I have, too. That would speed you up as you try to yeah. be more concerned of people, other people's time. So all I do is vary the trim a little bit. And I'm just thinking lighter on the left, which isn't going to make sense because I have this turned. And I don't know, it might be too drastic and darker on the right. Mm -hmm. And I paint the edge up to the edge. Oh, yeah, I think that's going to be kind of yummy. Emily, do you have an opinion on how long I should go? Um, I don't know. Uh, we can try and speed up here, too. We, if you go 15 more minutes, we have two and a half hours under our belt. I'm about to get another hug and my mic is about to be covered again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't do that sooner when we first came in. I know. Usually she kind of bugs me when I come in. Now I'm trying to find a new home for my mic with one hand. Oops, I've had my hand on. Oh, I'm getting like blue pastel on my finger because it's coming off. Like the tree. My tree's a lot lighter. <laughs> oh yeah. Because I've got... So did you uh, come up with an answer? I don't. I was. Uh, if you go fifteen more minutes, we will be at two and a half hours. So I don't know if you just want to. All right, we'll just have to call it then. Okay. And that gives people an idea. Like, should I stay? Should I go? Instead of keeping it in perpetual limbo. Yeah. That's not nice either. I can't. I cannot. I keep right clicking or left clicking on the mouse with the with my left hand because I'm trying to keep freckle happy, but. If you can turn around. I'm trying to paint fast. Oh my gosh, Freckles is climbing up Emily's body. <laughs> <laughs> she likes hugs. She likes to be held over a shoulder, almost like a baby. It's mm -hmm. funny. And that, we didn't, I mean, she was four, three, four years old, maybe. They didn't know when we adopted her from the Humane Society. Um, and that was something she came with. We didn't teach her or train her to do that. Yeah, she's always been the hugs. Yep. Somebody must have done that with her. Yeah, probably as a kitten, too, you'd think. Maybe. Mm, pardon me. Oh, I think the sun's coming out. Yeah, it is a little bit. The wind's died down. We've been on too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is 2.20, so you have 10 more minutes. If you go over in line, no biggie, or you're a little wobbly, no biggie. This palette knife one, I don't know if you can see. Well, and like my, my lines go uphill. Of course, it might be. It might, on the video, I might not have it square, but I just did those lines with a palette knife. You know, I was worried about this church. I mean, I knew some people wanted it. Carol is loving the red. I like the red, too. It looks yeah. so cute. It's kind of a berry Christmas. A berry merry Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, if you celebrate. Otherwise, I like that it can also just be winter, too. If yes, you don't. winter. That's true. It's just winter. 
the red can maybe hint at Christmas. Well, that's very true, Melissa. Why we did that first church because it could be on a flag all winter. Which, yeah, which yeah. sells better, or a, I mean, it could be a Christmas card because you can just say, you know, a flag that you put up, or even just like if you do celebrate Christmas, it can be a flag that you put up at in November and it stays all the way up through, you know, like yeah. when does snow snow stops here in like March, <laughs> February. Um, yeah, yeah, March. We'll see, it's snowed on Dad's birthday, maybe, maybe not. Um, I've had the stray snow days in, like, March. I, okay. I feel like when I was in high school, I remember, um, like, a weird day in March that Chase and I got a snow day or something like that. Okay, I bet that's that's a good reference. I can't come up with one. But I, th- I feel like it's usually kind of like end of February, beginning of March is typically the last snow. Yeah. Suzanne says she has two cats that love over-the-shoulder hugs. Oh, that's that's nice to hear. This is our first cat that mm-hmm. that does. The thing is, it's like, Freckle demands it. <laughs> She's a boss. <laughs> She's like, Queen bee. And that's not a bad thing, but boy. Doesn't play well with others, which isn't that unusual for a cat. Yeah, I like that. Um, I like having two, but I think I prefer that they came together. Because that way I get the perk of having two, but sometimes the two, if you have two, they don't always like each other or get along all the time. Yeah. Whereas the girls really don't. Uh, my two cats, they don't really fight. It's usually like they're playing and then Mango gets tired before Maya does. And then so Maya gives, or Mango gives her a hiss and then Maya's done. <laughs> yeah. But that, I mean, they get along. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I went down to the whatever size that brush is. And if that gets a little fat or crooked, I can skinny it up later. But that's also where paintings start taking longer. If you and I don't, I think that that's not a bad thing. It's just my whole time being aware of the time. Ooh, that got blobby. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry. Well, let's make it fatter. I hope and it got blobby again. We're gonna leave it. And come back with some white on that. So I, I've got a weird seam there, which I didn't think about when I put down new. Oh yeah, do you need to run a piece of tape all up it? Probably either? should. Oh, I I did. I just noticed the little sun. Oh, I drew, I just drew that during the live. Oh okay, <laughs> I didn't notice the. When did you draw that? Oh, gosh. I guess that shows how much I Oh, when I started talking about light direction and the snowman in the church, but I don't know exactly when. Mm. I guess that shows how much I'm watching. Yeah, pay attention. (laughs) If I didn't. Well, your job is to pay attention to the chat, not me so much. Okay, I don't like it, so I'm going to grab some gray. That's too wet. I should just wait. Okay, we're gonna wait. Tell me, I don't have my watch going. Oh, so uh, you have seven minutes. Okay. I probably hear the stress in my voice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, we're racing against the clock. Well, I wanna. I was really worried. I that's one reason why I didn't do this one too. One, I wanted a different church, so I've been was looking for churches and not happy. And then two, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm going. I want to go in. Um, I knew it's it's kind of fussy with all the trim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just made my trim here bigger. And I could go back and skinny it up with white. Or we can just see if we like it. Make it bigger on the other side. Oh, I don't know if my head's been in there, too. Um... I haven't noticed it, okay. but I uh, but it lags, so I don't know if I'm about to like catch your head. I don't think I think you're good. I feel my hair hit the phone. Oh, you do. Okay. 
I kind of like the pink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Frickle has calmed. I feel like she walks all over me and fusses for a few minutes, and then she picks a shoulder that she likes better, and then she's fine. <laughs> it's like a cartoon. <laughs> yeah. My stomach just growled. I heard yours. Did you hear that? I My heard stomach Emily's. growled so loud. I bet that the mic had to have caught that. But that was a loud growl. It's because we're going later than I'm, than I'm used to. I know. I'm also like all stretched out. I feel like when I sit, and I'm all like scrunched up, I don't feel as hungry. And then when I like stretch out, I'm like all of a sudden like, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, well, that's an interesting thing. But I'm all I'm all stretched out, so Freckle can just like lay across me. I'm breathing in case anybody wondered. <laughs> it's it actually you'll paint smoother if you don't hold your breath, but sometimes that drives people crazy. I could tell I was holding my breath earlier too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you had the the hold your breath sigh. Yeah. Angela Anderson sighs a lot. I think she holds her breath when she paints. And it's not like it's wrong or anything. It's just a tip that actually works if you doesn't drive you crazy. I mean, I'm trying to let you know it's not a big deal, but if you breathe, I think that's from me playing sports too, so it's kind of like if you breathe when you're shooting that free throw, you have a better chance of getting it in the hoop. Mm -hmm. But when you're nervous, it can be hard to breathe. Yeah. And maybe that's way too much discussion about breathing. <laughs> now everyone's thinking about their own breathing. I know it. <laughs> I know. Oh, I meant to make this side wider. I forgot. I don't know which way I like it better. Do you, mm. Wider or skinnier? I don't know. Well, I might just widen it up because it's easier. Yeah. I don't and think that, I have a preference. If... Well, I'm kind of wonky. I want to pick it up and hold it in front of my face. I wonder if there's any YouTube artist. Well, I guess uh, Lockery does sometimes. I think she paints, like I did with the um, the tabletop easel. I wonder if we should do more of that. Oh, yeah, that's really, I got it really wonky. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to skinny it up, I guess. I have to let it dry, though. Mm-hmm. Darn, I want to skinny it up now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you have three minutes, so you don't have to worry about skinnying it up. Oh, I can I got both my whites dirty. I was going to have a clean white. So I assume we still have people with us? Um, let me maneuver my hands and I will scroll so I can see. <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck. I, don't know. I think I drew it wonky, actually. I think it's what I did. Because it's just fatter. Oh, I went over my line. There we go. Like, what did I do? I had a fat brush stroke because I can kind of see the line. There. On my stream, it shows that we have nine people watching. Oh, thank you so much for coming, guys. I bet my hair was under that thing. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. Emily, I know you, it means a lot to you. You have a blast. Yeah, it's so fun. This, I, love to, I love Wednesdays. I have fun, too, but I'm also working. Yeah, yeah, you're well, doing Well, sorry, the... that sounded horrible. You're working, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, like, you're... I, I have one side of my brain going. I don't really have, like, I don't have to paint, and then also I don't have someone talking to me, or, and then I yeah. am not explaining what I'm painting. Thank you for, thank you. Yeah. Carol says, Carol J says that um, both you and Angela have a very calming demeanor while you are painting. Aww. And you are both, and you both teach in a detailed manner, especially for beginners like myself. Oh, good. Yeah, sometimes I wonder if I'm. Good, thank you. Thank you for the feedback, and thank you for the your kind words. That's so nice. And you know what, you guys? So I made this wide. We're going to finish here, I have a feeling, Emily. Is that... Yeah, it's 29. But you, if you, I mean, okay. it's not like we cut off at 30, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I think we probably should have worried well, about Well, yeah, 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 but you, it, you turn it off, so. 
Okay, so I'm gonna stop here and hopefully I can get the rest of this done. See, Angela paints way faster, but I think that'll come with time for me. Um, I like it. I mean, the, the channel will evolve. We just won't be able to help that. That's just like, just like my art's been evolving, you know? Mm -hmm. But, okay, so one thing that happened, that mistake of painting it too wide and then adding another coat of white, I think that looks really nice. It's like there's a little snow wedged up against the yeah. frame. Mm -hmm. I think that's really nice. Mm -hmm. So mistakes can be really frustrating and be your best friend. It can really help you. I think it's, I don't know, I'm a little worried about the red. It's, it's stronger than the hooker's green and the other church painting, but it, it's definitely yummy. I like that part about it. <laughs> and we'll try to paint faster next week. We'll be doing the same thing, part two. Um, I don't have a name for this painting. If you guys have a name for this church painting. That would be super helpful. Thank you, thank you for all your support. You all mean so much to me. I'm so glad I've gotten to connect with so many of you, or all of you, not so many of you. I really appreciate it. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.